Hey! Break the ice. Yeah, hey. <laughs> Hello. This is Pokemon Battle Revolution, man. I haven't Morning. played this game in a very long time. Um, RDA is a master of this game, so we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> I have, I, I will say I haven't been playing very much recently, so... Oh, well, you're doing better than me, man. You're doing better than me. <laughs> But um, you can see there's a difference. There's a bit of a difference here. In oh fact. yeah, that's true. I forgot you were playing on Japanese. Man. There's a lot. We have a lot of time to explain stuff. Well, while we true. go. Yep. All right. Cool. Do you want to kind of start? Yeah, we'll go on go. I'll count right. from three. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, cool. All right, so, so yeah, this is Pokemon Battle Revolution. This is essentially like the stadium for Generation 4. Um, and in my opinion, gets a lot of very unjustified hatred um, for its position. But just because it gets compared to the stadium games quite a lot. Um, yeah, I, I always thought this game was really, really good. Um, but hey ho. Agree. Um, so, right off the bat, I'm like saving some time on SCOA because the text goes a lot faster on the Japanese version. One of the reasons that I submitted in the first place because I wanted to show off Japanese uh, PBR, so... Yeah. <laughs> it is I also don't version. have Japanese PBR, so... <laughs> <laughs> I found it on eBay, man. So true. Are you playing on Wii U as well? No, it's on Wii. Okay, cool. Oh, because mm -hmm. I will literally not be able to understand anything if I played in Japanese. Oh, I so the wrong Pokemon. Well, let's see here. If this isn't too bad, I can run this. I picked the wrong pass. Oh, I can't run that. That's fine. All right, I'm resetting for stats. I'll do this one. Yeah, uh, here's the other big difference. RDA re resets for stats. I don't. So if I get ho absolutely horrendous pokes, I'm just going to deal with it. Was, it, was like, not against doing um, Cindy with Daisy because it doesn't lose too much time. I and mean, it's obviously slower, but I can do yeah. it. Um, but those stats are not good. <laughs> so we're just going to not do that. All right, don't worry. I'll catch back up, guys. Oh, very, very, very probably. If anyone has ever watched me play this game before, um, I notoriously have some um, Colosseums in this game that go absolutely amazing for me, and just some that are consistently horrible. So, um, I guess we'll see which this kind of falls in line with. Like, Waterfall, for instance. I've never had a good Waterfall in a run before, uh, but I waterfall. seem to always get good gateways. So... <laughs> okay, yeah. Waterfall is, like, pretty, it's pretty hard, and, and there's a lot more luck that goes into Waterfall. Um... So that's definitely fair. Um, also to note, the first battle in Main Street is pretty much the most difficult one. So as long as the first battle goes pretty good, it is not too bad. There's definitely like, obviously Pokemon stuff can happen, but the most annoying Pokemon are in the first battle. And also um, this Luxio is very, uh, weird and has rivalry instead of intimidate so um the oh, luxio's gender stunning. does matter in in the run so they have a girl luxio so it's gonna do more damage to female pokemon whoa oh my gosh <laughs> so i got pretty okay. much as good of a first battle as you can possibly get <laughs> yeah that was that was pretty solid that was ridiculous right was that four turn yeah, four turn. Yeah, that was sick. So I got a minus attack Monferno there, and it was 91, which is pretty bad. Um, new generation PBR runners don't really look at stats anymore, but I'm just old. And how I learned was to look at the stats. Um, so I go off of the stat number. And that 91 is one of the lowest stat like totals you can run that. <laughs> Do 
The Pidgeot, which is important for Cindy's pass, had a minus attack nature as well, so I just kind of been getting bad luck here. But quick reset uh, is Japanese version. I immediately got like the worst start for <laughs> the second battle. Vibrava is just such an annoying poke to have to deal with. Okay, cool. That's good enough. We're also playing, um, like, I'm pretty sure Sko is also playing. Are you playing horizontal or are you playing? Vertical? Vertical is faster. It saves time. <laughs> yeah, because really I, like, that. use the pointer and stuff, so. Yeah, it saves time. Didn't think, we didn't know that for a bit, but it does. <laughs> Or at least, I think Sunflower knew that, or at least he just did it because he felt like it, or it just was preference, but... Well, you know it's, what? It's... I actually didn't know until you just said that you could even really do this game properly vertically. I just always played it when I was younger with, like, the pointer for the most part, so, like, vertical just made um, sense to me. Horizontal was just, like, safe and, like, comfy for me, and for Pokehero, me and Pokehero uh, started spearing this game at the, around, like, the same time, so... <clears throat> a lot of my info and stuff also bases off of experiences that we went through. But that's what we we just were like, oh, it saves time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very fair. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about my Star Avia, man. My Star Avia is not... It's a, it's a, it's not the best, but... Star Avia is, uh, is a very interesting poke here. So, because it's... It's really important to the team. It's not too important to any percent, luckily, but in the beginning, it's obviously important. Um, and if you have a really, like, if you have a pretty good attack, Staravia, that thing is, is a beast and can kind of be like the MVP of your team until you get to the second half or the second part of your of your battle pass, which is Gateway. Uh, like a, a bad Staravia doesn't really do too much for you. There's a couple things like. The Vibrava that I talked about earlier, that's one of the big ones that, like, if you get a really bad Staravia, just... It can use Substitute if you don't hit it to under 25. Thank god I, like, barely got it under 25, so... Uh, there are some horrific outcomes with Staravia stats, but... And if I was a good speedrunner, I would have had a save file that had decent stats, but... It's fine. <laughs> that didn't even cross my mind. I was like, you know what? Let's just do it, man. Yeah. Okay, I can run this. All right, we're good. We can play the game. Woo what am I supposed to pick here? Okay. That is horrible. All right, how far behind am I? Let's see. We're 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 good. Five minutes behind. We got this. It's only one game or one uh one team, whatever. It's all right, man. Yeah. If I don't get like the magma skip. Or like the Magma Coliseum skip, you're like right, you know, if it goes to that distance, it's just immediately straight back in it. I would suck if it took that long. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pokemon, man, you never know. But yeah, yeah. Alright, so we're starting. So, one of the other things that you'll notice um, that's different on the Japanese version, uh, the models specifically for the older Pokemon, like from Gen 1 and 2, uh, their models are a lot different and worse than the ones on NTSC because they're not fully completed. They're mostly all just transferred from uh, Stadium 2, I think, or Coliseum, something like that. It's just tra a transferred model. So they look a little different. The camera's a little weird when they die a lot of the time. Um, it's just kind of interesting animations. <laughs> Same I'm thing. playing the polished version is what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, this is this is basically like the beta version. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. Go para. Okay. Okay, so on the battle that I'm on, um, I'm fighting Elena. You can kind of vary your lead here between Luxio and Staravia purely based on rivalry because I think right. all but one of Elena's pokes were females and my Luxio is also a female. I'm leading with Luxio. Um, so 
It's normally nope. the right decision. Um, Luxio does deal with the battle a lot better, especially with rivalry, but Staravia's not. Not awful, but I did get one of the, lead, the worst leads. Yeah, you're right. Well, and you definitely just don't want at all. You just don't want Lickitung at all. Yeah. At all, period. <laughs> I had to go Water to, Pulse uh, is such a too. nasty move. <laughs> confusion happens. Like, confusion happens. It's, it's supposed to be like 30%. It definitely happens like 70%. So this is something that I think about, and specifically in this game quite a lot, is that status afflictions seem to be very skewed in this game. They feel very off from what they are in like the main Pokemon games. Right. That's a very think, good crit. I think there is something to it, but we don't really, there's, I don't really know. <laughs> there's so much we don't understand. Man. Yeah. Dust stops. These are really bad pokes. I'm really hoping I get a Paralyze here. Moonlight is just grim. And then swap out. We got Nose Pass lead for Eric. Love that. Oh. Uh, okay, Confusion's all right, as long as I don't get confused by it. Um, <laughs> why did I speak? <laughs> Come on, man. All right, that's one. I have to... I have to also pay a little more attention to like Pokemon uh, uh, placement on the battlefield. It's not too important right now because it's just single battle. But in on double battle, unless I know the Japanese name and like characters for the Pokemon, which I know some of them, I know like Flappy. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's a very important one to know. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know Flappy. Um, but as long as you like know that, you have to just kind of guess or see what side of the battle or side of the battlefield the pokemon's on so i know which one to select <laughs> instead of just being able to read okay that could have been worse um again licky tongue is really just an awful poke to have to fight but up next is my personal least favorite um fight in main street ariel i hate ariel Really? You don't like Ariel? Yep. And there's one poke that she always brings. Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl is the most oh. annoying Pokemon uh, in this entire run. You see, you just don't like Poliwhirl and Ariel's taking the heat. Yeah, I see. I watch. It's going to be Poliwhirl lead. Ooh, okay. Poliwhirl, Poliwhirl is one of the, like, I don't know. I, don't, I have to think of how many Pokemon there are, but there's a couple Pokemon in PBR specifically that are just such a pain. Poliwhirl is one of them. Um, Wigglytuff is another one. And I think Staravia is probably really like a sleeper, but I don't think it's so right. right. I don't think Anytime like you have to fight right. someone else's Luxio is another yeah. big one. <laughs> I almost kill it. What just happened? Ooh, okay. I can deal with Love Disc. If I get Poliwhirl, oh, I missed it. If, if I get Poliwhirl and it's last, then it's not too bad because I can justify swapping to Grottle in that instance, but. Otherwise, I'd, I'd rather avoid switching if I can. Alright, not too bad of an hurt. I just use Print Plot the whole time. You're gonna use takedown crit me, because in the recoil action oh never mind not with the not with the berry. Ah dear. Mm, I maybe should have U-turned actually. U turn's so niche. Huh. It probably wouldn't have killed. Especially if your story view doesn't have the best attack. Oh, okay. Snap die. We good. Dang, just Machop lead. Random Machop lead. I do think that the um the the NP, like the players battles um AI is a little different than NTSC. They do make different decisions, and especially certain other Colosseums. Sunset is the most different Colosseum comparatively. <laughs> um, so we'll get to that when we get there. But 
Sunset's just learning interesting, experience. generally. <laughs> it's, it's a learning experience every time I do it. I'm like, oh my gosh, what the heck? Something <laughs> new happens to, yeah. to screw you over. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Smeargle. I can kill a Smeargle. I have a 102 attack. That's, that's pretty basic Monferno attack. Okay, nice. Nice range. Good range kill. Yeah, I'm, I'm not the most worried about my Monferno. I did manage to kill um, a Jigglypuff with Mach Punch, so I I think it's probably okay. I've had a lot of runs where my Monferno hasn't been able to kill that, so... Jigglypuff is a... Is a low attack range so it, it definitely could still be mid but it's probably fine yeah I, also, it's better than previous ones so I, i'll take even that to be honest yeah 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 it also it, monferno is important but the most the more important pokemon is to come unfortunately so all those True. resets i did could probably have not mattered but at least i have a decent monferno a decent monferno is good to fall back yeah. on though it is. I am also going to start Luxio because I have a female Luxio as well. They have two two boys on this team. The gender and stats can vary, um, like on these Pokemon, um, on all the teams, which is something that is PBR kind of exclusive. It seems. At least for the stadium games. Okay, this will be a bigger test. Back punching Delcati will be. Dude, boy, useful. beautifully. What the? Not cute char, man. <laughs> That's why. We oh, okay. <laughs> I used to track anyway. <laughs> Come on, Monferno. I didn't kill Beautyfly yes. solely because of it being a boy. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, see that 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 is the downside with rivalries that Luxio very heavily relies on it. So if you do come up against something that is the opposite gender, there's like there's no chance of you killing it. There's so many instances where it's just better to switch. At least the Dustox is a is a girl. Nice, yeah, that Dustox is one of the major ones. <laughs> Double you need to go to get. Uh, that might not even kill. I didn't get a. Well, actually, it did half. It did half. It might kill. Oh, it did, it did moonlight. Oh, no, it did protect. I thought it did moonlight. Okay, well. All right, you so. Don't... I am at the first boss, I guess. Yeah. Let's see what Taylor's got for me. Taylor's an interesting battle. There's a couple there's a couple trainers throughout the run that we'll see. Nice crit, that didn't matter. Uh, where it seems like there's particular Pokemon, specifically rental Pokemon, that were meant to be brought to this battle. And for this for um uh, for this for Taylor, uh Grottle seems to be like super super like built for this team for some reason. So that's why I have the Grottle lead. Grottle is such a random Pokemon to lead, but he does good against pretty much the entire team. So, and, unless that happens. <laughs> I know, and I've got Rain Dance up too, so I'm not even going to switch. <laughs> I'm just going to fight through Swagger and hope that that's going to oh, save me. Swagger. Yeah, Swagger could, be, could, could help at least. At least your attack isn't lowered. Let's go, let's go. Just snap out, and just the fight's easy from here if I snap out, because I'm at <laughs> plus one, so. Yeah. The Assuming Ice fight Fang fight. doesn't kick my ass right now, but. Nah, it doesn't. Nah, you're fine. That's exactly what I was scared of. <laughs> ah, okay. Wait, did you crit or something? I got frozen. <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Oh, come on, bro. No. Get that body heat going, man. Okay, I can kill that. All right, well, I'm at Ariel, so 
not too far behind. The load times and everything like that is, is also faster on the Japanese version, so I'm just I, I have the ability to catch up. I have the advantage, unfortunately, for uh for Skoa. Please die. Please <laughs> die. It missed Ice Fang. Please no Grotto on the fly. My aerial ace didn't kill Weeping Bellow. I think that's a range, but it, yeah, it is a range, but cringe. Cringe either way. Oh, that's the first time I've actually lost Grottle <laughs> against Taylor. That sucks. Welcome to the club. Okay, well, Mon Monferno should be able to, to finish from here. Dude, he did take down two. What the heck? This love disc is pissed. God, that fight started so good, too. I even crit love disc with Grottle. <laughs> like, it, was, it started so well. I didn't well. Even see that. That was fast. <laughs> Oh wow, well, I almost killed. Die, Dang. of course you brought Perlia. Curlia's an easy kill. <laughs> oh, okay, Fire Punch does one shot. Did not know that. Oh, oh yeah. Curlia dies to like anything physical. That's why Grottle can kill it. This is true. Yeah. Grottle bite. One shots it, easy peasy. Another reason why the Grottle helps in that fight, weirdly enough. I would have golded no, there if I if I didn't lose Grottle. I actually would have golded that split. <laughs> so I have a, I definitely have a slower Staravia because my Staravia didn't outspeed the Poliwhirl. That's something that you can check on with these with these Pokemon. Um, so unfortunately, I have a slower Staravia. I don't think I have, my Staravia has like probably a hundred attack, a mid whatever. He died, so it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> That's why you bring Grottle. So I do have chat open just in case people ask questions. And Saxo, yes, in some scenarios, but not in that one because Rain Dance was up. So. I can always just die out, you know? Gotta have hope. This is true. Uh, Could have just got the instant on. thought. Skoa's on definitely one of the most difficult Coliseums in the game. Like, it's definitely not just you. It's, it, there's a whole counter for, like, that was, that Poke Hero made to try and figure out the AI and the um, the patterns, but it's just kind of random. It, the, and it, it seems to also vary between discs, so it doesn't even matter what each person's patterns are. Um, but you can kind of pick on patterns, on, like, the more you do runs. But it's just, you have to pick one Pokemon, and that one Pokemon that you picked in that particular order fights the whatever Pokemon they picked in that order. So the first Pokemon fights the first Pokemon, second Pokemon, second Pokemon, so on and so forth. So you can just get screwed by typing or matchups or whatever the case may be, because um, you can't swap. Yeah, and it's a best of three, or a best of five, rather. So mm -hmm. um, you could just go in one shot, one shot, one shot, and you go, oh, why is this call same so hard? Or you can get completely annihilated. Like there's some pokes. Like coming up now, I'm bringing Staravia. If I get Fluffy, I'm probably gonna lose. It's very unlikely that Staravia beats Fluffy. It's got some and, for and us. So. They definitely can make dumb decisions. Like they make dumb decisions all the time, and they'll just not use a move or whatever. But yeah, was, you, just, you still have to kill it. You have to take down like twice or something. Yeah, you have it. to take down twice. Um, I'm pretty sure it has static. And if it uses Thundershock, you lose instantly. So yeah, no, yeah. And you can choose to give in, which is like a faster method of just taking that L and moving on. Ooh, crit, Ooh, that was a nice crit. Hey, crit the lair on. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Yeah, there are some matchups that you look at and there's like, there's no hope. Some Sometimes like, Staravia versus Flaffy is one that's worth giving a go because you can sometimes get away with it. Um, mm -hmm. But like, th there's like, if you have like a, a Luxio versus another Luxio, you're going to be there all day. All right, only got one detect from the Yanma like that. Okay. Grottle versus Flaffy is an interesting one. That is interesting. Get some crits. <laughs> it's not the fastest. 
the slowest though. Flaffy can't really do anything to me. Yeah. But I mean, I three shot at, at, at worst, so. And it's just spamming Cotton Spore, and it's already quicker than me, so I don't think I'm in any danger. Yeah, like like this instance, they just they don't make the best decisions sometimes. Sometimes though, sometimes they go crazy. So, sometimes they seem to know type advantages, seem to know when they're gonna crit, yeah. and all this stuff, dude. There you go. There's Thunder Shock. Yeah, I got I got Q charmed, and I didn't get the range for the ha for my mod. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna swap. I think. Oh, I. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Burn. Okay, that works too. I still love about this game is like the voice, or like, no, not the voice lines, but um, like what the, the characters say whenever they lose battles and stuff. Some of them are really, really funny. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the text is always fun. They'll, whatever. So whatever if you see me text. literally sitting giggling to myself, I'm probably laughing at <laughs> what the characters are saying. All right, I'm at Taylor now. Nice. So, um, you also might notice that we don't have, I don't, I don't have it on, um, but we don't have the announcer on. The reason is also that it saves a, quite a bit of time. Um, it's, it saves time in all the Coliseums, but it saves more time in Coliseums where you're giving in a lot, like Magma and um, uh, Waterfall and Crystal, um, where there's like weird short battles and stuff like that. So... That's like where it saves most of the time, but yeah. overall it saves time in all the call games. Waterfall is the main one, especially like if you'd seen there with like the one shot turn that I just had there. Some of those can be very, very slow with um mm -hmm. with the announcer because the announcer like sits and talks for ages on the results screen and stuff as well, where it just fades out instantly here. Which is great and fun. We love them, but ooh, okay. I'm gonna swamp. Mm. Ah, fun. Uh, I don't think he can do another one. Oh, you got uh, fun. I got substituted, man. The the best move in this entire game. Sandstorm is okay, actually. For one turn's worth, I'm I'm very okay with that. Looks Moves like yeah. Rain Dance and Sandstorm, Hail, all those things actually lose a lot of time in this game. Um, they are very slow, they cause extra lag, it goes around each Pokemon individually with its own cutscene of it losing health if applicable. It's very, very slow. <laughs> You're gonna see some instances of us, like, collecting Pokemon or trying to make sure that Pokemon don't show up. Um, just so for the sole reason that we don't get Hail. <laughs> yeah. This has been an interesting, Taylor. I got swaggered, but I've hit through so far. Snap. Damn. Please. Hit through again. Oh my gosh. One friend was crazy. Nice, dude. Alright. GG's. GG's. I think I didn't quite get Butterfree. Same as okay. Cool. Not the best I've, main street. I've had many worse um, waterfalls than this already so far, so. Nice. Yeah. Are you out of Damien? Uh, I doing... just beat Harry. Oh, yeah, yeah you're doing good. <laughs> but the, the danger ones for me are like Desiree and Ciara always seem to cause me loads of issues, so. They are annoying for sure. Still have to read off my notes for like every single battle in this game. I'm so bad at remembering who I need to bring. I, was oh, I do the like same thing. But... 
<laughs> I, I always have my notes up. There's a lot to remember for the game. It's, I it's don't know true. how people could remember all of it. No. Why would you bring Polyworld from Inferno? I got a, I got oh, a flash hypnosis. Me. Hypnosis. This might be a tactical given. Tactical given to hype. That's confused. Hit yourself? I mean, if you wake up, maybe not. Nice. Okay, maybe kill the Flaffy in two turn? Two turn? Actually, this should two turn. Okay, I'm gonna stick with this just in case. Let's go. Oh. Okay, great. Let's go. Body slam's fine. I'm hoping this gets it kind of close to dead. I'm pretty sure this Polyworld has a berry, so. If you really want to try and win against it, you do Sunny Sunny Day. If you didn't already. Mach Punch is not killing that. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, we'll go with this. Okay, I just spam Body Slam. As long as I don't get Pirate here or crit, I'll, I'll win. I can't actually survive another Body Slam. Cool, okay. An unlikely victory. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, always <laughs> it's a perfect exhibition of why I don't like Polyworld. Body Slam, Substitute, Water Pulse, and Hypnosis is just such a disgusting lineup of moves. You got that, though. Getting the Polyworld dead is always a sigh of relief, even if it's a little slow. Main thing is it can bring it out against Staravia, because trying to hit takedown on top of all that is so bad. Hit the wrong move. Whoops. But, so, this Gabite, the Gabite on Nate's um, Battle Pass in Pokemon Battle Revolution from the Nintendo Wii, uh, probably one of the worst, like, quote-unquote, starter Pokemon, like, in existence. In my yeah, <laughs> I agree. This, this fight sucks so much. <laughs> like, it I, just seems actually, to do like no damage with anything. It's fine that I I misclicked into Dragon Pulse instead of Aerial Ace turn one, but it's fine because Gabite literally can only kill one Pokemon in the entire game in one shot, and it's Beedrill. So <laughs> there you go. Okay, stun and stuff. Actually, not a bad Desiree at all. Got rivalry bonus with Luxio too, so I can kill Lombrand too. And then I crit turn two. <laughs> nice. Nice turn one. Other major oh, thing for this game, in my opinion, is the soundtrack of this game is so good. Uh, oh, I feel like people don't appreciate it enough. A lot of the time, I'll have people that just kind of chill in the chill in the stream when I when I'm playing the game just to listen to the game's soundtrack. It's it's very good. <laughs> it's like a, a top tier. Too. We're coming up on one of the best ones. True. In my opinion. My my favorite sunset. Sunset's great, and they're they're. I mean, they're they are all just bangers. There's not one that's bad. Raw. Another Polyworld lead against. <laughs> I mean, kill it. How do I not kill it? Crit here. Hit the button. Thank you. I might as well just let Polyworld kill if it decides to be mean. Uh, that missed, I actually could have got it. Yeah, cool. That's fine. Worth seeing out just in case. If I'd missed Hypnosis, I might have been able to get away with that, but. I had like a per pretty much perfect. Harry selection. I just had a bad range on the butter or beautifly. <laughs> okay. See, well, like, the fun part is that because I lost um, 
because I lost Monferno, it means I have to use Gabite in this set. Which is oh. fun. Oh. If I can't kill Silcoon, GG's. There you go. Alright, Harry. Oh, wow, well. even with Light Rivalry. Okay, give me Motham. Motham would be great. Ariados is okay. That was a very fast parry. Anything under three minutes in Waterfall is really solid. I have splits, that's the only reason I know what's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> same. I'm the exact same. I've got my splits open ju just in case. Just in case. Yeah. I'm a minute and a half behind, but that can obviously just change. I'm only 46 PB seconds code. behind, but my PB's waterfall is horrible. <laughs> so. Oh, I have my. Oh, I have the wrong. That's oh, fine. I have the wrong category open, but it's. I have like a similar PB time, so it's fine. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. We only have there's only like two minutes between our times, right? I think yours is like two better than mine. Well, I'm on the uh, my Japanese PB is like really bad, but yeah, our time our like just general any percent times are pretty close. Not My a Japanese single like good a thing is going to happen right now. <laughs> Gavite against Celio. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I got a crit. Okay, I might actually win. <laughs> I'll go crit. Let's go. Oh, I no, not the counter. berry, dude. Why do you have a citrus berry? It used Encore for me as well, so it's actually saving me a bit of time. Oh, yeah, Encore is hype when, when, it, when they use it. And like the move is fine to have, like obviously be onboard, because it is just save time in, in menuing. Ideally, you'd get it in a task. <laughs> wow. Okay. I did not know that that would one shock about it. What? What one shot him? Aurora beam, which I didn't think was oh. strong enough. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, again, I, the goodbye I'm, does kind of suck. Even... So. <laughs> But I don't even think I've seen a goodbye get hit by Aurora Bean, to be honest. I've never had that instance happen. Uh, okay. In the Motham beat. against Prinplop. So, I'm screwed if I lose this, because um, this is round five, so. Oh no! You have a perfect point, right? I just need to get through. I, th I should have, like, two. Oh, okay. I, I one-shot this poly world. Let's go, dude. I was hype. Desiree then. Sierra's next. Dang, I've literally only just beat Sierra. <laughs> you beat him. You beat her, though? Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I did manage to get away with it. But I right. Going to round five loses a lot of time. I've had a pretty solid waterfall so far. Under three minutes, the last two battles are really solid. Especially Desiree. Desiree, once we get past Harry, the battles get annoying. But Desiree and Sierra are both really annoying, specifically. <laughs> so. Yeah, it gets a bit better once you get beyond Sierra, but uh, mm -hmm. River can be awful. Uh, yeah. Ruben and River can both do stuff to you, yeah. But Marina is definitely the worst. <laughs> yeah, there's just so many. You have to three hit KO this thing, and where where Taylor's pretty like a you know obviously it's the first Coliseum it makes sense, but where Taylor's pretty easy simple. Marina's like you can just lose. <laughs> you can try as hard as you can. You can think as hard as you can. You can just lose. So. Dang it, I'm bad rivalry, Ariados. You hate to see it. Luxio Ariados is a, is a rough one without rivalry. Yeah. 
Actually, might not even be able to win. That did so much damage to me. Why did you do so much damage to me? What the heck? Okay, give me Ponyta or Ryolu. I will take that. Are you doing Sucker Punch? Question mark? Please don't. Cool. Why did I... Do we speed tie? My speed tie with this area does? What? What was that? <laughs> that was actually really weird. I, I beat the area does somehow. I don't know how. That was weird. Ugh. Jump scare of getting paralyzed by force palm. Just no fully para, thank god. <laughs> nice crit. <laughs> oh, I got Celio versus my Staravia? Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. And I missed takedown, okay. <laughs> And he used Aurora Beam. <laughs> Ciara seems and... to be going brilliant for both of us. <laughs> okay. I, I, okay. Okay. Good well, at least he one shot me. At least that's that. true. That's fine. Oh, that was really good. Need to see how to do slots, bro. Check this out. <laughs> Ah, oh, that sucks. Um, I guess I actually don't know what to. Yeah, I think I dragon balls. Damn. No, now I aerial ace. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. I haven't really had Poliwhirl Gabite before. Oh, well, it did a lot more damage than I thought. Yeah, Poliwhirl Gabite's not as bad as as you'd fear. Okay, all right. I've had the I've had it before. I was I was pleasantly surprised with Gabite's ability to to kill it. Yeah, that's actually sick. It gets good. That's actually good to know. <laughs> it's one of the the you, you kind of see the matchup and you're like, well, first of all, I'm using Gabite, so. I can't believe that didn't kill. I can believe I got the most. I got the highest range. Like mi I got min max right there. That's what that was. <laughs> I got min max. What the hell? <laughs> okay. All right. On to Ruben. Why did I spark this? If I paralyze. Uh, okay. Whatever. I'll QA next turn. Let's buy you. Magically does a lot of damage. Dang. Okay. Yeah, I'll. Good flinch QA time. My team selection has been bad today. <laughs> Mankey is not in this game, Juan Lee. I'm sorry. Well, he is, but uh, it's post game stuff. Yeah, we will not see him. Unfortunately. Okay, rivalry. I got rivalry. I'm fine, I guess. Oh my god, Monferno Poliwhirl again. That's the third time. <laughs> it's loving this matchup with me right now, dude. Should kill? Oh god. Rivalry's hype, let's go. <laughs> and I have a, an atrocious special attack. Monferno right now. Oh god. I so oh, could no. win very easily right now. I just need Monferno to behave. 25% to be fully powered. Come on, man. Probably is not gonna Don't work. Don't have out, a berry. Okay. 
crit. Crit. Nice. Okay. I got the crit. Oh, nah. I didn't get it. No, I didn't get Oh, I got confused. <laughs> Roller coaster of emotions. I have to kill it. Come on. No. No. Come on. Don't die. Ah. Oh. You hate to see it. It's so unfortunate. <laughs> okay, Marina. He couldn't even hang on to, just because he felt bad. He couldn't Gen 7 mechanic me, dude. <laughs> Tough to die so you wouldn't feel sad, bro. <laughs> when the first time I saw that, the, the pop-off that I did was so insane. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I, and I swear that mechanic Bro. is in the game. I swear. I swear. I think I've seen every possible polyworld that I could possibly see in this Coliseum. Everyone said, let's bring polyworld. It's because I dared to talk about earlier how much I didn't like polyworld. But it, it, he, he comes around often. It's, it's not just... It's not just like a one and done or just a couple times. It, he, he's on a lot of Pokemon's team or a lot of teams Pokemon, whatever. <laughs> okay, I, I did manage to get him. Um, thank God it was with Staravia this time, though. I, I've, I've had to fight it with Monferno every time so far. <laughs> uh, unideal. <laughs> Interesting Ruben. I, I don't typically lose a match against Ruben. But you can get pretty unlucky. Okay, give me a palm. Stunning. Oh wow! It actually I'd sped. Uh, wow. Okay. Crazy. That was crazy turn one. Dude, he what? I didn't see the crit yet. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> kind of scared right now, but... <laughs> Typical Marina stuff. We good. <laughs> so, another little mechanic that I'm just going to say as well, just because I did it. Uh, whenever you're going into the little trainer battle passes where you select your pokemon it the game can vary between almost instantly loading in like it did just there for some reason that was like one of the fastest load ins i've ever seen um but it can load in really quick and you just like mash through the stuff or it can take like up to almost eight seconds or something like that because it just doesn't let you select the a button like it just doesn't you just doesn't continue um so that can just happen in random every single battle just whatever so you just kind of accept whatever the game gives you. <laughs> oh my gosh, I did so much damage. Okay. And it confused me. Okay. I'm going to give in. No, give in, dude. Hello? Yeah, that's Grottle Death. <laughs> ah, well, unless it ran... Oh, well, no. Bosses have kill oh, AI in this, so... Gr Grottle can't kill Farfetch. That's a hard one. You have to get really lucky with that. Poison jab too. Oh. Overkill much. Yeah. <laughs> he usually just does a poison jab first. That's kind of weird. It doesn't do it first. Uh, I went straight to Swords Dance to try and get the Oko. Oh, it does do Swords Dance first. You're right. Um, okay, well... The bad part is that I'm actually left with really bad pokes left for Monferno to fight. Everything that Monferno could have killed for LDVs, I think, has already been taken. So... Dude, I got the Poliwhirl Monferno matchup. Fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Maro needs to be nice to me. Turn... Cracked. Dang. 
Okay, that's hit through. such a good crit. It didn't kill, but I'll be fine. I was a bit worried about whether I'd be able to three hit KO with that. I had three hit KO with a crit, so I guess that answers that question. Yeah, that was an absolutely tragic waterfall. <laughs> Not para fuck. Uh, not para flexion, dude. No, no. That's a second given, dude. I hate to see it. Might lose to River. Oh. Uh, I think I can probably win it. It's just going to be slow. Oh, GG's. GG's on beating Marina. Okay, so now that I have beaten um, the Waterfall Coliseum, some new Coliseums have opened, but I'm not going to go to them yet. Um, next place I'm going is the gateway coliseum and i've hit the wrong button so i need to go back um basically the gateway coliseum's entire purpose is to give you new battle passes um to to mess about with so you'll see that i've picked dizzy's battle pass um and this is what we're going to be using for pretty much the rest of the game um we are going to make one minor swap after gateway um but this pass is just ridiculously good because of the lead that i've chosen sneasel sneasel is just just insanely good for whatever mm. reason it's not a pokemon that you'd really consider with um like being as good as it actually is but sneasel is ridiculous it's true the sneasel uh, against the pool of pokemon that we have to fight again in round one it, it just it really does wipe the floor with most of them yeah, it's fast, it does ridiculous amounts of damage, it can freeze things, which, believe you me, every now and then really comes in handy. Another, some like fun facts about gateways, the, the category used to be called all coliseums back in the day, um, and it's because you would do all coliseums instead of just playing. Um, basically, any percent would be, could, would be all coliseums, and doing not gateway would be low percent. <laughs> <laughs> which is slower um even though you're going out of your way you're you're going 20 minutes out of your way basically you don't have to do gateway at all to beat the game you're going 20 minutes out of your way to get a pass that has better pokemon that will save you basically ar around 40 minutes over the course of the run so that's how that's how crazy good daisy's pass is compared to the pass that we have to begin with Oops. so yeah <laughs> take it that's more into perspective. I got good pokes, but I got double protected by dust docks. Hey, at least you got good pokes. All we're hoping for is is like decent attacking um sneasel. Like you can work with whatever else, like and if you have a bad sneasel, it's it is what it is, but um it still kills most things, which is ridiculous. Yeah, like it's so it. This is ridiculous, man. But as long as it's, as long as the stats are fine on your team, you should be good. <laughs> I got Corsola Staravia. This is pretty sick. <laughs> and also get used to this Sneasel Golbat Beautifly configuration that I'm using. You're going to be seeing that a lot. Yeah, they're a good trio. U-turn should be a three hit on Corsola, so it should be okay. This Corsola's just been chilling. I I got a bad, I got a minimum on the first hit for sure, because that first hit did nothing. I need to recover. Let's go. Let's do some yeah, more U-turns. Fight first, but whatever. It's the first multi-hit move that's hit me more than twice. I need a crit. He's recovering now.
get the flinch. Crit. Crit kills. Oh, recycle's fine. As long as I don't get teeter downs, then. Probably gonna recover here. So just purely based on like battle numbers, um, because I'm in gateway now, it's going to look like I'm pulling probably a lot further ahead of RDA than I actually am. Just the battles in gateway are just really quick um, and yeah. waterfalls are normally very slow. So I'm I'm really not that far ahead. <laughs> I'm also doing having a pretty rough marina so far, so that doesn't help. Uh, well, I've just got annihilated by Delcati. I killed the Corsola. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. As long as you keep using Sting, I can work with that. Wake up, Sneasel, please. Come on, Sneasel. Delkai is just spamming Sing, dude. So if I get up and I get screwed over by Infatuation as well, I'm just going to go back to sleep again. Okay, cool. <laughs> I wonder if if this former dam's dig um, kills. Punch. Mm. Yeah, figured. Rough marina. I'll ask for Polywell here. I have Grottle. Okay, all right. Come on, Grottle, pull through. Barely. Dude, I missed. I missed wow. Razor Leaf. Okay. All right. All right. I got the five percent. <laughs> I actually might lose Sneasel in this Coliseum. All right, I got the crit, at least. Need Arena lead is rough. I want Lombre. Not my well. Okay, I need to swap anyway, so... Luminion can deal with this. Luminion's a, a homie, for sure. Dude, I'm getting rough luck here <laughs> in this marina. I'm once I kill Mawile, I'm praying that I don't get Lombre. I know I just wanted Lombre, but now I really don't want it. <laughs> I don't even know if a swap would be worth it. I did get it. Could just crit and then who cares? It's really the, the underlying factor, man. Right horn, okay. Actually not a bad thing that I'm on Lumay on then. Blade killed it, good. Nice. I think I won. Is that right? Is that three? That should be three. Yeah, let's do Okay, we got it. Nice. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Moving on to Gateway. Gateway is one of the Colosseums that theoretically just should just should be fine, but you can lose so much time in here. No. Yeah. 
but like a good gate like my my pb gets a sub 16 minute gateway which is just disgusting that's good. insane <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> like a sub 17 minute is good um so sub 16 is a a little bit absurd most collected tommies <laughs> That's not great. Um, attack Sneasel, holy crap. Okay. You have plus attack? I have a 132 Sneasel. Yep. Dang this. Your your typical Sneasel will have around a 120. So that's pretty wild. I'll be able to see roughly what my I'm Ice punching Kakuna, so oh, I crit, so I have get no information about how good I could potentially be. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> Give me Deli Bird, Light Red, so also all right, I guess. Having a plus attack Sneasel helps with just like ranges and stuff like that. It it for, for Dust Toxic, for example, Dust Toxic is really annoying. It's still going to be annoying, but now I will definitely two shot it as long as it doesn't do stuff like Moonlight. Um, but yeah, having a plus attack is pretty crazy. As long as it's my, not minus defense, I did not check the defense stat. Um, you don't really want minus defense or minus speed. I guess speed would be more important to be not minus. So you definitely just want your attack and speed stats to be good in in the run, um, and you can work with whatever else. Yeah, the the main thing is not getting minus attack. New neutral attack, you can you can cope with like if you hit ranges it's really not that different to a plus attack to be honest but that involves hitting ranges which is basically impossible so cool so i'm on the cedric so as long as i don't see luxio in this battle this is one of the easiest fights in the game punching I could bite for flinch but with a plus attack is probably a good idea too because a crit would probably kill most things Ooh, not the crit. Dang, he killed my Sneasel. Oh, Sneasel died? Yeah, he crit me. Dang. One of the nice things about Sneasel as well, in like the, the rental pass one, you might have already seen it on my end once. Um, it has a focus sash, which can save your ass in a lot of really, really awful matchups. It, like, it allows Sneasel to beat some things that otherwise would have no chance against. And one battle away from the best theme in the game, man. I just finished Marthel. <laughs> in this fight, as long as I don't get Sableye, then it's another very straightforward one. I had a 30 minute. Um waterfall which is not good so <laughs> i had a 20 29 minute waterfall <laughs> i was like I, I, so i was hearing a noise and i was like what is that noise and i think it's my dog snoring that's cute <laughs> my I, I see i don't know if the where my auto is being picked up from my dog was barking earlier so it's it's probably he's probably audible animals be like just wants to be heard man <laughs> cool, okay. That was a very nice crystal. 
three ice punches and done. Oh, it's always nice. Yeah, you can. There's definitely moments, and Gateway is kind of one of them. Um, so it was weird where Sneasel died, where I had to actually pay attention. Where you can really just like kind of sit and hit that hit that ice punch. <laughs> yeah, you fight sit and mash. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice kill on the Jiggles. Jigglypuff is a funny animation because he like, or Jigglypuff will like puff up and deflate and uh, go down. But in the Japanese version, the camera doesn't follow him or anything, so he just like puffs out of screen and then falls <laughs> back down. That's amazing. Alright, so I'm going in to fight Joe. Joe is one of the battles that theoretically should just be quite simple. Um, depends heavily on who he brings. Delibird is a nice one to see. Um, but this this is one of the fights that a plus attack sneeze all really, really helps in. Delibird's a range, Torchic's a range, um, Mudkip guarantees to hit KO, I think, with a plus with good stats as well. Yeah. So Yeah. Dude, I keep hitting myself. I'm gonna die again. Joe does have some very, very defensively strong Pokemon, though. Um, Dizzy Punch, hopefully, isn't mean. Good. Okay. Um, ideally, I get Drifloon after this. Um, I can Oko Drifloon. I don't want to have to rely on ranges, and I don't really want to see Trico. Or Mudkip. check okay well let's see how good Sneasel is in this one you don't pick beautiful you actually play Kili Mini on Ooh. wow <laughs> actually one hit Torchic dang oh clean clean that's a very good Joe honestly for how awful one of those fights was I outside of that very very good gateway it's going to be a I sub-17 gateway. Oh, yeah, that's clean. That's clean, for sure. I love um, I love Joe's battles. I don't know. The, all the Pokemon have cute models. The music's nice. It's a chill vibe. We're just, we're, just, we're just Pokemon battling, you know? So we are now over one, and, and I'm about to show you guys some more tutorial. So, I guess I have to go into a different menu now. <laughs> And this strat was was found, or it wasn't really founded, I guess. I guess it, no, it kind of was, but I don't know. TJ Blakely, I'm pretty sure, is the one who kind of originally started doing the route. Because um, the original any percent used to just be low percent, where you don't do gateway. So. Yes. <laughs> I can kill this, maybe. So I swap Monferno out for Lopany and then just immediately go back to battles. So this is the fun Colosseum, man. Anyone's ever played this game? Um, this is probably what they remember for. I got trolled. I got five hit. And then I got hit, killed by poison. <laughs> this has been a funny gateway. <laughs> okay, I got one wrong poke, so I'm going in with Bastiodon <laughs> as a lead. Uh, that's okay though, at least you got Bastiodon on your team. Yeah, I, I, I got okay. I, I got Don Monferno Sneasel Lumineon, so I'll, I'll oh, be that's, okay. That's totally fine. That's totally uh, fine. I'll just need to switch out. Yeah. So well, Neon is actually probably the most difficult execution wise, for sure. <laughs> I'm changing my plan a little bit here. I'm gonna keep Bastiodon in and hope that it can tank some stuff for me. Because stuff like this can happen. Any like so there's so many outcomes that can happen in Neon because of the wheel. 
Um, like the CPU can just pick any Pokemon in any of those in any of their turns, so that would that <laughs> squanders any goals that you might have on your team. Um, so you just have to play with what you get and know kind of the good strats to go for, but you have to be able to work on your work on your toes. Yeah, it requires a lot of thought, um, a lot mm -hmm. of knowing when it's not worth continuing, especially against the first battle. There's a lot of times where you just get a horrendous lineup where Alyssa just pulls the, just the best Pokemon from yeah. the wheel and there's no point even trying. Alyssa's very annoying to deal with, specifically Alyssa. She, uh, she's definitely one of the more difficult fights in Neon. Dude, I killed the Kakuna. Let's go. Nice job, Bastidon. Alright, Okay. I am going to use this opportunity to switch out. Bastidon is paralyzed, and I also have Blaze with Monferno to kill Blossom. So. Blaze and overgrow and all that fun stuff comes into effect quite a bit in the run it's very i forgot blossom had an Ockerberry. this might not kill oh i crit okay surely yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay luxio will probably kill monferno didn't even monferno gets to live with blizz clean Sneasel's paralyzed now, though. Plusle. Okay, Sneasel can kill Luxio. And... Did he use Roar? <laughs> My Sneasel keeps getting trolled. I'm just trying to get the most out of Monferno with Blaze, because Blaze is so, so good. And it's not very common you get to use like blaze and torrent and all this kind of stuff so mm -hmm. if you have an opportunity to to make use of one of them it's it's very very useful right um hopefully sneasel gets three paralysis here and kills laxio good okay lovely stuff and then there's just like a, a very nearly dead Blossom and I are uh, very very dead fossil and I have Lumineon, so I also have Bastion still alive, so So the splits that I'm actually running against are the wrong ones. It's low per they're low percent splits, but that's actually gonna be really interesting to see how much time I save against those splits <laughs> throughout the run. Oh, protect trolled man. Nice lunch. Okay, good. Protect field. Cool, cool. Getting through Alyssa is a nice... Um, a nice way off your shoulders. Alyssa is what, honestly maybe the worst fight here. She's definitely the most... I would say she probably is the most challenging out of, out of all of them for some reason. Uh, some of them can, can have some decent pulls. Um, but yeah, I don't even think... Because Rosie's like the easiest one, so. Yeah. The call team leader sucks. <laughs> Ooh, Vibrava. I'm going to kill it. I mean, nice punch. Oh, my days. Yeah, I'd say the other, only other one would be like probably Goldie. Goldie can be kind of annoying. But it's Pokemon Battle Revolution. Anything can happen. Okay. This is a very odd lineup to go into Joey. I missed... Um, I missed Luminion, but I got Charmeleon. But then... Oh. <laughs> Joey pulled Blossom, so it might not be that bad. Because it means I have a way to kill Blossom now. Oh, never mind. It has fire spin. Jesus. Ah, that's good. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, I might not be winning this actually. I'm gonna very heavily be relying on um, Sneasel in this battle, to be honest. Oh no, he brought the she brought Sable Eye. Can I can I get a crit, please? Oh, oh snatch. Sludge bomb, please. Ah, that's not what you wanna see. Blossom. Actually. Change of plan. I'm gonna kill Beautifly. Charmeleon will die. Gives me a reason to get Sneasel on the field and finish Blossom. And it means I also get to kill Beautifly this turn too. And I'm ice punching Pokemon. I'm actually, I just finished Crystal, so we'll be starting Joe. I swear to God, this Blossom has plus special defense. <laughs> <laughs> I know Surf doesn't do a whole lot to um, to it anyway, but it's doing like astonishingly little. Okay, what is Joey bringing out next? My cargo, please, Combuskin. I need everything to leave Luminion alone, really, because it's also poisoned. Which is just stunning. <laughs> Dang, he parried me. Scratch oh. on Sneasel? Thank you. Might Not anything. crit! Why crit? <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Dude, he parried me and, and killed me. That's crazy. <sighs> I should still win this. I'd be very surprised if I didn't. What's I last? Really start that for. Monfer oh, okay. I win. Cool. Uh, I'll wing attack one for just to be safe, but I'm. I'll be very okay. Even if um, Lumineon dies, like, somehow, before they act, like, I'd win with Golbat. How accurate are you normally with um, the Neon wheel, RDA? Uh, I mean, I'm, it depends. Uh, sometimes I can really mess it up. <laughs> I I've only and I, I haven't really been practicing too much, so it was the only thing I did before this showcase <laughs> today was like I was like I need to re-remember how to do the wheel. <laughs> it's definitely not easy, so it can it can definitely save and lose lots of time. And I've had a lot of time, lots of runs where I like just ruined it because I selected the wrong stuff. So we'll see. <laughs> Joe is messing me up right now, though. Joe is messing me up. <laughs> he he killed my Sneasel, and then he burnt my Luminion. Almost killed my Golbat. Now oh, the Drift Loon. Okay. Okay, that's my first perfect wheel so far <laughs> against Jessica. Three battles to get a perfect wheel. But even even if your accuracy is like stupendous, you can still get screwed just by the AI picking all your all yeah. the pokes that you want. So they, they can just pick Sneasel, turn one, or pick Monferno or whatever. I think I'm fine here. Mm, I maybe should have two hit 
blossom just to get it off the field, actually. Joe, Joe, really. I've never had Joe be so offensive before. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> We're good. Fight for blood. Yeah. Energy ball, Monferno. Yep, because the AI is really smart. Thanks. No, yeah, not special minute, death you know. drop. So, Beautiful. another fun note about the, t the team swapping is we used to also not... Uh, have Beautifly on the team. We used to swap Luxio in Beautifly. So you'd have Monferno and Luxio from, from Nate's Pass, but um, we determined that that's not faster, so. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. I should have done, should have done the other way around to save the Akabari. Donkey, the unit himself. I, I'm now starting Neon. We appreciate that Stunky just outsped Monferno. They should use Mach Punch there. I just did that. I <laughs> messed that up already. Oh, I did it again. Hmm. Well, it seems fine, actually. Yeah. Okay. Weird team up, but I can just figure this out. <clears throat> Probably. I was I was hitting a little early there. Eve. No. Okay. You know what? That's actually okay. I didn't stick to like the the pokes that you'd normally pick for this. But I'll be okay. My plan here is <laughs> Barret stole um, Blossom immediately. So <laughs> um, I'm just going to kill Blossom immediately and then I'll, I'll whittle the others down. He got kind of air pokes after Blossom, which was quite nice. Anything major, um, he managed to not get. So Blossom Frozen. Pull. Okay, so what was third? Unknowns in the field. Unknowns last, or Mad Pods last. Wiggly tough. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, Wiggly Tuff's another one of those oh, um, cool. pokes that's just horrendous to try and kill. In this scenario, it's not going to be too bad. Um, I'll be able to get rid of Unknown here. And then Metapod's last, so I can kill Metapod. And I should only really lose one turn to Wiggly Tuff. Shockwave's fine. Something that's really interesting about using the pointer a lot in this game is that the pointer doesn't insta-select stuff. Wow, Wigglytuff yeah. fruit. Um, so you can't like hover your pointer over like the third or fourth move slot and just mash A, because you will just select move one. It does take mm -hmm. a second for it to actually move the cursor over, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Means all your menus are kind of like typing as opposed to mashing, which is... Yeah. I mean, it's fine, but... 
It's an added <laughs> complication. There's a fun little beat to it, though. Yeah, true. And then you got a lag frame know. and everything goes wrong. <laughs> On to Goldie. That could kill. I, I beat Alyssa. I, I just that was that was wild. I got Beedrill and Bathy done, and they got Lumini on turn oh, one. Oh shit! Or man, turn one. Okay, just don't hit Wigglytuff. Cool. I messed up slightly, but we're good. Didn't get punished for it. Didn't use protect. Thank you. Definitely could have just used protect that turn and maybe waste more time. All right, let's not mess up the wheel this much. <laughs> Next time. Thank goodness, guys. Ranger's Cat is on tech. Feel a lot more at ease that the marathon's not going down now. Dang. Fire Punch, hopefully, on Luminion. Thank you. God, I love how stupid the AI is in this game. Luminion burned. Alright. I don't really do anything to my stats, but it's just going to be annoying to watch the cutscene. When there's like multiple p of the same Pokemon on the wheel, the way you can tell, there's multiple ways you can tell actually um, which is Pokemon is yours. But the easiest way is there's a little, there's like a circle around the Pokemon's picture. Um, and. Let me protect. There's a circle around the Pokemon's. Uh, picture and it's either red or blue if it's blue it's yours if it's red it's theirs so if you look for that ring you can tell if it's your monferno or whatever you couldn't kill the monferno this time but you killed it when it was mine <laughs> what the heck dude Flying at the perfect point, but Me trolling with Blossom. Sorry for the silence. We were focusing for sure. This yeah, is the I was big doing focus. another wheel. <laughs> yeah, this is a very focused, heavy, uh, execution heavy Coliseum for sure. So we just have to make sure we don't mess up. <laughs> I messed up the first two and I was like, I've not liked it. And I can't mess up anymore. I got to lock in, bro. 
I've been fine since. I haven't really done anything majorly silly since, but... I had a pretty bad Alyssa, but we are doing a little better with Joey. A little better. Every- like, all the people keep stealing Blossom, though. Like, literally every single time I've had to fight my own Blossom. Which is like, I have to drop everything to get it off the field, because it's just so yeah. obnoxious. Yeah, it is. I went faster. And they keep right. stealing it first, too, so it's not like I can, like, kind of whittle things down. Um, this Charmeleon is like, whatever, I honestly don't care if this stays in the field. It's so easy to kill. Okay, I'll start whittling it down now that it's beautiful. Oh, nice crit. Makes my life a bit easier. I think I can finish it this turn. I don't remember what Craig pulled last, but... Butterfree. Easy stuff, dude. Alright, they only got Lumineon, that's fine. I just messed up one of my, one of my picks. But Butterfree is actually not too terrible to have, but I'm probably just going to swap. But yeah, depending on what you're up against, Butterfree can actually really pull its wit. Actually, I will stay in. So I want more turn. Craig down, and then on to Rosie, who is... As we alluded to earlier, probably the simplest battle. Assuming you get your picks on the wheel, Rosie's probably the easiest. Yeah, it's definitely the easiest. It's like, it's like uh, Rosie and then like Joey or something. And Craig. Craig's pretty easy. No, not critting me, dude. What the heck? Whatever, just don't get Delcati. Cool. Yeah, I got <laughs> really good pokes. <laughs> so uh, this will be a two-turn battle. And I might actually be ahead of my PB, which is weird. I didn't realize I got paralyzed either. That's fine, I guess. <laughs> Hot Tracy died, so it's fine. My the CPU keeps taking the mini on for me. Oh, that's way worse than Velocum. Yeah, I just got full para too. I can't kill a thing. Oh, actually, this is not going to be a two turn. Oh. I forgot that it took Velocum. Unless I crit Blossom. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Dang. Okay, I'm not going to be ahead of my PB because of that. I forgot about Blossom. I get the Luminium flinch. Dang. And you just surfing. I don't care. Ooh, that almost killed the stunky. <laughs> Thanks for rolling the two him. Is that the double full para, dude? Are you kidding? What? <laughs> Having some rough luck this round for sure. Oh, I got a crit. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I needed rough luck crit. Problem thank solved, you. man. Yeah, it kind of did solve it. <laughs> okay, 
I'm now moving on to the Crystal Colosseum. Crystal, essentially, oh, it, it's a another double battles, um, another double battle Colosseum. But you'll notice there that there was like a table um, for a tournament knockout. Um, basically, it's kind of random who you fight. Um, obviously, I'll always fight Larissa at the start here, and then from here, it's like just the AI knock each other out with no particular rhyme or reason. Um, so some of the fights are really good. Some of them are like ridiculously quick. Some of them are completely just grim to have to do. Um, yeah. There's like a pool of po there's a pool of uh, trainers that you can fight for each like round. So round two you'll fight between two. For round three you'll fight between four. Um, and from round four you'll fight between I think I think it's like six or something like that. Six or, six or eight. So yes. But uh, from here, pretty much everything is a double battle um, from like Neon onwards, which is v like way, way, way better. Doubles are just, they're, they're more interesting. There's a lot more to pay attention to. Um, just, they are, they are good, man. And I'm going to have to be paying more attention to like the game, the layout and everything so that I know who I'm hitting. Otherwise, I'm <laughs> not going to know what I'm doing. This is true. I have the the yeah. benefit of um, playing on on English. Um, so yeah, enjoy, enjoy the music, enjoy the commentary, but <laughs> I'm doing my best for that. It's rough with this game as well because like whenever new Pokemon come into the field, you'll have noticed that I have to like hesitate to move back and forth between like what um, like what position on the map I'm targeting. Um, it's just it, it's it's weird where, where they're actually on the field is not correlated to where they are in the menus yeah it's true <clears throat> that's what i have to keep remembering too it's wild I, every I, new pokemon first... comes out goes to the top right and it's really silly yeah when i first started the like doing runs on jpl like what the heck like, where <laughs> are these pokemon Ice ball's fine. Not a bad Larissa. Um, getting a Celio and cast forms, kind of whatever, but. It's not even the good one for now. Oh no, it just. Oh no, it just did a dumb. Oh, oh no, yeah, yeah, never mind. Sorry. My brain didn't work uh, for a second. Okay, so I'm about to fight either Linda or Hayden, and I would much rather fight Linda than Hayden. I am fighting Linda. Nice. Hello, night time save. <laughs> And the reason you'd rather fight Linda is because you get to use the Sacred Blossom Luminion combo where you just surf everything and pick things off with Energy Ball. Luminion prac or Blossom practically just like drinks water. Yeah. It's just well well hydrated plant, man. Yeah. <laughs> or an Onyx will definitely uh, honestly they'll probably both die to surf. I'm doing that right now. I have Blossom Luminion. Such a good combination, dude. Yeah, Daisy's team really brings a lot of, like, interesting uh, strats and, like, just combinations uh, to the game and to, like, speedrunning. It's really cool. I love this game. <laughs> For sure. Eh, not too terrible of a Barret. On to Goldie. Laron. Definitely have had a, a more a rough run than uh, than Skoa so far, but still lots of game to play. Yeah, my um, I, I had a a streak of well, I see my my worst one so far has been waterfall, but you also had a bad waterfall, so it doesn't really yeah. you didn't really gain anything on me. 
But I, I had a pretty good neon, other than Larissa. Not Larissa. What's she called? Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa and Joey were both quite bad for me, but everything after that was pretty good. But Alyssa and Joey being bad was both my fault because I messed up the wheel, so... Yeah, I had a pretty bad uh, Alyssa as well, but I'm picking up the pace a little bit. But my the the CPU's been doing really good with the wheel for the most part. Yeah, I got Carla. This is the first time I've ever fought Carla. I swear I've I've gotten to Crystal like five or six times in runs, and I fought Graham all but once. Yeah, Graham is not good. Graham's like the worst one in, in round three. <laughs> okay, Bronzor is actually a horrible Pokemon to fight against. Um, Bronzor, it's very easy to kill, but it has one of the slowest animations in the entire game. You see, Bronzor uses Tackle, we're going to be here for at least five business days waiting for its move animation to end. That'd take a long time. It's so oh, slow. And Malfarno can't Oko it, so. I hit the wrong Pokemon. Future Sight. I'm very okay with Future Sight. Fire Punch, Bronzor, and Bite Koala. I got the flinch. Hmm. Ooh. More damage than I thought it would. It's fine. I'll die. And then I crit turn two. <laughs> nice. Chai Mako. Okay, that's actually good. Probably the best thing that I could have done. Did you really? Oh, okay, I thought it, I thought it failed somewhere. I was like, how oh, is that even possible? Okay. I have faith in Sneasel to kill from here. I'm very shocked if it doesn't. It's crit. Although well, Chimaco is quite quite bulky, so we'll see. Nice. Okay, I would like to fight David in this round if I could. Because that's another Luminion Blossom fight. <laughs> I'll do a quick scan of the thing to see who I got, but I might have to just react to the menu. Oh, it was someone down the bottom half. Kayla. Uh, this is a very weird fight. I haven't done this one before. I was hoping if I was going to be on one of the bottom ones, it would have been Lindsay, because it's another Blossom Luminion, but... This is going to be a weird one. Let's see how this one goes. Okay. Could have been worse to start with.
The reason I'm really not a major fan of this battle is uh, there is a possibility for Wigglytuff to come out, so... I had, a, I had a rough Wigglytuff go at, with Gold, uh, Goldie. This Goldie fight's going for a while. Ryle and Flaffy is not great. <laughs> How much damage did I do the first time? Will I even be able to kill with the second Fire Punch? Wigglytuff. Ugh. I actually did kill Fluffy. I'm very surprised. Wigglytuff's a range. Nah, not happening. Didn't get the special death drop either, so... I can Mac Punch Energy Ball, but I'm... I might need to do it. Yeah, I need to take care of you first. Good charm, of course. They got Luminion again. They just keep getting Luminion or Wibby <laughs> yes. Okay, no, I want to use Fire Punch instead. His Blossom will kill. Where's my cat meowing? Uh... Oh. That Grile really did me dirty, did. Probably could have done that a bit quicker, but oh well. It's the first time I've ever fought Killer in this. All right, Volden time. Volden is another fight that can be very easy, or th there is a lot that can go wrong against this guy. Um, he just has a, a very awkward team. Um, Rotom, Matang, Machoke, just so many awkward folks. Uh, okay. Onyx Carnivine is a very weird lead. Cool. Carnivine, be nice, please. Ah, uh, that won't kill Sneasel. Okay. Okay, I'll actually kind of want to see Rotom here. I'd rather not see Matang right now. Elekid would be good, too. With Volden, it's, it's not really about his pokes individually. It's the combos that he can send out that are really, really awkward. So Machoke plus Rotom is not great. <laughs> yeah, Voldon is a very difficult fight. He can definitely just ruin runs for sure. I'm, uh, I'm at Rosie now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> In a rough run, but we're getting through it. If Rotom can hit Golbat, I'd be very happy because it gives me a chance to use Bite against it. Maybe kill it in one. Nice! 
Yeah, I can double bite. No. Wow. Okay. That was actually a very, very good crystal. Nice. Didn't quite get the range, but Gorbat's got me. Oh. <laughs> I forgot the big one of the big uh, differences of the game <laughs> here is uh, so for Rosie and uh, Sachet, I know for for certain, but the skin tone is uh, just white on the Japanese version. <laughs> And on the NTSC, they have a darker skin complexion, so that's just weird and random. I actually did not know that. Yeah. I'm at Rosie right now, if you want to see the differences, it's pretty wild. <laughs> but you can only see if there's, you know, on the screen. Oh, yeah, I right know. That's great. Yeah. All right, Sunny Park time. Sunny Park's just like a classic double battle clay Pokemon Coliseum, really. Yeah, nothing... Nothing fancy, no gimmicks, just a lot of really silly battles in this, though. A lot can go very wrong in this Coliseum. Um... Sashay being the main one, to be honest, but... Yeah. I should've done that the other way around. Actually, no, I shouldn't. That was the right play. Oh, good crit. Combustion's a range, otherwise. So, that's obviously devastating damage, but um, outside of the, the devastating damage that I just received, it's actually really bad. Um, just purely for losing the Focus Sash. It's really annoying to lose it to a, a Metapod. I don't think I'll need to rely on it here at any point with, with against Tasha, but it's a very defensive uh, Metapod, though. Very, very, very bulky one. For Ice Punch to do that little too. And Fluffy last. Send uh, headbutts. I actually don't know if this will... Oh my god! Frozen Solid again! I think two freezes and a run. <laughs> That's my third now. <laughs> really? Yeah, I had two oh in Gateway god. and one here. Oh my god. I might have had one in Neon too, actually. Like, I've had so many. You have a lot of freezes, dang. What the heck? No, none of them have really helped, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's all been like things I've been double targeting that'll die anyway. Okay, Curtis is an awkward fight. Just silly pokes, has Staravia. Um is a is a, a major thing. I don't want to see a, a Gravel or Staravia lead. It'd be... Okay. <laughs> Alright, finish Rosie. I'm hoping Graveler's nice and picks on no one. That was yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. 
definitely wasn't gonna tell it to pick on Golbat. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> I can blame Inferno can kill whatever. It was last in the field. What I actually should have done there was hit Staravia with Ice Punch and then Grass Knotted Graveler. Yeah, AI is probably going to ruin my day. Yeah, like I said, hopefully Monferno can kill whatever's last here. Oh, yeah, cool. Very nice. Staravia is fine to fight against as long as you've still got Sneasel. If you don't have Sneasel, old Star Ivy is horrible. That's true. <laughs> Wiggly Tough appears quite a lot in this Colosseum too. <laughs> uh, so hopefully really the Wiggly Tough's. Yeah, you just hope that they don't bring it. But if they do, it's pretty annoying. You get to deal with it. Oops. Um, in this instance, it's not a wiggly tough. It's a licky tongue that I'm hoping um, that Patrick doesn't ah. bring. But um, there's a there's a wiggly tough in the next fight, and there's one on the fight after that. And <laughs> so, licky tongue and lead licky tongue. Paired with unknown though, which is actually not too bad. Ooh, I might be able to two hit Licky Tongue here. I think that did enough. I'm definitely going for it. Um just to free up Sneasel to actually contribute as opposed to finishing off a. Oh, nice. Supersonic miss. Yeah, nice. Okay, definitely. Um, Monferno is going for that. Hopefully I got away with that, but I, I need Ice Punch on Skip Loom. Ah, dang. Second roll was quite crap. What a lovely animation, Lick. My god. It's a great one. <laughs> I could pick on Apalm here, but I'd rather get Licky Tongue off the field just because of Supersonic mainly. Gives Sneasel the best chance of getting through. Cool. I got Hayden. Dang. Aw, oh, dang. Well, at least you guys get to see all the fights. The way that I tell is depending on which box the red line is moving from, I can tell which battle it is. <laughs> uh, on English, it's nice because you can just kind of scan it, and if you see it during your like brief scan of mashing, then cool. Otherwise, it's not really... That bad in Japanese, you have to really lock in for that. <laughs> yeah. This is maybe the worst fight in Sunny Park outside of um, Sashay. It's Logan. Not only does Logan have Wigglytuff, but he also has Poliwhirl. So, yeah, that's an annoying fight. Um, and obviously with him bringing four, it's very likely he brings one of them, at least. So, 
As long as you don't lead Polly Whirl Wigglytuff. Okay. <laughs> that would have been awful. I had honestly didn't even consider that as a possibility before just now. Once again, devastating damage. Wiggly tough. Please don't. Holly World, no! <laughs> uh, okay. I'm splitting up my attacks here, and it's. It might be a good thing, it might come back to bite me. It's fine, it won't kill, regardless of who it hits. Uh, if I get through confusion here, we're laughing. I think I win. If I get through, go on. Dang. Yeah, no, it just doesn't matter. I'll win this turn regardless. Especially because right. of that. Maiden's done. We'll be on to fight three. Come on, Monferno. Yeah, I mean, if if I'm gonna get trolled by confusion, this is this situation that I I want to happen in, where like I'm guaranteed to win anyway. Harla, that's not great. Be worth them. Don't bring Wigglytuff. It's the the national anthem of this game. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it! I don't think Surf will kill. Pleasantly surprised by being wrong. I got like psyched out by the help. I was like, did that do that right? Okay. Got infatuated. Hate to see it. <laughs> I've been cute charmed so many times in this run, man. Oh. Jimmy and who? Water free, good. Oh wait guys, how did I do a guess in the in the hangman? I actually think I know the answer. <laughs> I don't know. 
Yeah, I just exclamation mark gas and type out the move. I don't know. I don't. That's right. I don't want to be wrong. This is hard. Oh, I haven't hit through it once. Check this out, guys. Oh, we got a crit. Did it kill? Let's go. Let's go for yes, attack. Dude. Love plus attack. <laughs> Use hypnosis? What the heck? Okay. I'll counter. Let's see if he does he do it, please. Oh, I thought he was gonna do like an actual good move against me. Wow. Okay. Should kill, maybe. In the exact same boat right now. Okay. Yeah. Let go. Nice. Okay. You should it does like brick break or something. I don't know why it did cut. It literally used cut. What the heck? <laughs> Ian has brought horrendous pokes. What the hell? It's like all like Luxio, Pachirisu, all this crap. I'm like, Ugh. it's like everything's a two hit. I, I, I've had mine and Luxio and Pachi so far. I'm just keeping Pachi alive because it's doing nothing. Way more scared of Luxio. All right, finish Carla. That's kind of was kind of slow though. Carla's usually not great though. Oh, who's my fourth one? Oh, she. Oh, it's Lindsay. Lindsay is one of the easier ones for sure. Oh, Lin Lindsay's such a nice one to finish on. Mm hmm. At least I got a nice one at the, at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> Makes up for the other ones you've been given. Yeah. Of course, that Barry on Patchy's gonna. Screw with me a little bit. I love using Surf. It's one of my favorite pastimes. Okay. I'm actually going to double down on Pachirisu here. She's going to be able to do more than Celio overall. That's exactly what I was worried about. Okay, so Celio, uh, the whole reason I went after Patchy was so that an extra turn wouldn't get used on me and then it paralyzed me, so it's going to happen anyway. At least Ice Ball is a relatively fast animation, so if it uses Ice Ball again, then we're chilling. If I get the flinch off a of bite, then cool. Dang. Ooh. Nice one for now. Okay, I'm on the sachet.
So this fight's the really scary one in Sunny Park, and it's the only one that really poses any threat of actually losing, to be honest, unless you get hilariously like shafted by the other battles. Um, but Sashay can be very, very challenging. I am going to... I'm going to target down Minin here. Purely because I don't want to be baited into a plus or Minin combo. <laughs> oh no, you're joking. Sneasel was never going to survive that, so... I'm hoping Shaco uses Helping Hand. Oh, okay. Doesn't really matter now. I... Mm. Oh, Luminion does high speed. Okay. Cool. Um, I don't really care what happens to Monferno here. Monferno, as far as I'm concerned, has kind of done everything he needs to do. Um, I would like him to survive into the next turn just so I can get a, a Blaze Fire Punch off on something. But if Jaraball hits him, and yeah, okay, that's cool. Sunny day, thank you so much. What was your crystal segment? Uh, I actually don't know off the top of my head. I golded it, I know that much. Sick. So it was good. Mine was not it, good. It was sub 16, <laughs> I think. Oh, wow, yeah, mine was not bad. Come on, team, I gotta pick up the pace. Give me some non wiggly tufts and stuff. I thought I was going to get away with the gold on um, Sunny Park 2, but unfortunately it just wasn't quite good enough. If I'd gone Lopany lead, then I might have, just to get rid of it quicker, but... Because the actual pokes that Sashay brought were really, really easy to kill, but... 
This is a mid-24 Sunny Park. Twenty-four, twenty-eight, Sunny Park. Pretty good. Yeah, Pretty very good. good. I think that's better than mine. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have my. Own, I have like a laptop right now. My my computer like died at the beginning of summer, so I have to. I'm still like working on getting a new one. Dang. And. What happened? All right, I'm going into the fun Colosseum now. So this is Sunset Colosseum, where you do double battles with a bunch of stuff that is, yeah, 12 randoms, as you can see there. Only it's kind of pseudo-random. Um, It's not fully random, yes. You're there cool. are some ones that are guaranteed, cool. so my two leads there, Vulpix and Rotom, always appear. Um, but I would have liked to get Staravia, Staravia is not there. Um, and also the third battle of this, um, there's only four battles in Sunset, but the third one of the bunch is by far the worst battle in the entire, just the entire run. Uh... Yeah, Sunset's a big run killer. It's the mage. It's the main one as well. I'd say. There are gimmicks and like there's strats that you can use to get through it, but bad stuff can happen. Really? I've hit myself four times in a row now. That's definitely... Oh, no. Okay. Cool. Oh. Um, I have lost Rotom against Stuart. <laughs> that is horrendous. <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> That's spooky, I'd say. Please, Vulpix. Why? Five in a row, dude. And now Graveler's confused too? Oh my god. My plus attack didn't get affected by the Intimidate. That's good. Good, good, good. I'm on, Graveler. Six in a row hit self. Wow. I'm getting done here, dude. <laughs> this RNG is so bad. 
Oh, what happened? Oh, he's using that. Weird, weird, weird. Okay. <laughs> if that had missed, it was probably over, to be honest. I very much so needed that. Flash fire. Please hit gloom. No. Oh, I lose. Gloom cannot be a Vulpix and a Plossal. I'm just gonna give in at this turn. I cannot believe how badly screwed I got my RNG in that battle. That was ridiculously bad. Just, like, eh, had I not got killed there, I might have gotten away with that, but... That was pathetically bad. Unfortunate. I am, uh, I'm at Patrick right now. Had an okay Curtis. I lost like six minutes <laughs> alone to Stuart, so you've you've been given a lot of a lot of time About there. Time. <laughs> There's a chance. As long as my son said it didn't go bad. Ah uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> And I really am like still, still uh, hazy on the on sunset. <laughs> but I love this game, so I'm having a good time. Hope you guys are enjoying the game. Hope you're enjoying Wait. the race, Skoa. The oh, okay. It was a plus a lead. I thought I just horrifically threw that. <laughs> I was like, why did I do that? <laughs> I was hoping for a crit. You're joking. <laughs> Fall <laughs> fix. <laughs> This is, is pretty much the hardest fight in the, other than Dusty, but Dusty is honestly not as hard as, it, or it's not that it's not as hard, but it's less gimmicky, so it's harder to deal with. Amara is the worst. I can't that's stand true. Tamara. Tamara is annoying, that is, that's true. Could have had them both dead right now if I wasn't being dumb on turn one. No. Of course your Rotom wins the speed tie.
Oh, we got the Omni first. Are you joking? Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. This is probably another loss. <laughs> Holy crap. <clears throat> Logan brought a lick -a tongue but, you know, it is what it is. We're just having that normal kind of sunny park where not much is going on. I actually could still win. There's a chance. So what I need to happen is I need Plusel to kill my Volpix, and then I need to win the Rotoms. Okay, his Rotom used double team. That's a good sign. Okay, kill Volpix. Cool. I missed Ominous Wind. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't have any. Oh, shit. Mail. You are joking! The AI has just made like some ridiculously good decisions. That's like seven in a row hitting myself in confusion, dude. Not helping hand. Oh my god. I'm blaze. Dude, my life is like falling apart before my eyes right now. And you missed! Oh my god. Oh wow, I didn't go for Monferno and it outsped me. I didn't think I was going to get the... My Monferno must not have not great speed. I knew it didn't have good speed, but it must not be like great either. Could be minus, I'm not sure. Ooh, that's, that's killing, for sure. Okay. Raw. Ain't no way. Okay, I, I, I'm giving in again against Stuart. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> I'm not having a great time at Pokertopia, thanks, Anna. No, it's great, it's fun. Stuart's gonna be holding my dreams tonight, then. <laughs> I met Hannah. I had a pretty good Logan. It was pretty good. Sorry, where are all my normal Pokemon? <laughs> Choke. Let's go. I don't <laughs> oh, that's saying. Ugh. Okay.
That's fine. Then. Dude, the game is just giving me different pokes at this point. It's like you've struggled so much against this that you're getting, like, the nerfed pokes. Both my Pokemon are asleep. Dang. Watch him get through. This is the AI. They always get through. They always get through every status affliction, bro. What is happening? Oh my god. <laughs> kind of cooking me right now Dude. i didn't even really do anything wrong sunset's cooking me <laughs> <laughs> i guess that you threw on the right pokemon i was four minutes ahead of my pv by the way going into sun sunset <laughs> hey you were you were on a good run Stuff's using drain punch, and the animation takes 10 years. Yeah, my accuracy going down is just what I need right now, man. Dude, Noctile's been fully powered three turns in a row. Let me just kill where I am. I can get Gibble out on the field. Finally done with Hannah, holy crap, that was insane. I don't know how what Hannah was doing. That was that was really good of her. Bad for me.
This is just the I'm going to lower your accuracy team and there's nothing you can do about it team. Where are you at in uh, Sunset? The first battle. You're still on a team one. <laughs> uh, the, the thing is, that it's not even giving oh, me like Rotom okay. and stuff anymore. Like it's actually just straight up just giving me different pokes now. <laughs> I didn't see who had Pokemon. I wasn't looking. I'm bad. I have like Luxio, Gibble, Wormadam. <laughs> like, I don't know about any of those Pokemon. Neither of I. I didn't even know this was a thing. Oh, it's because you've lost so many times. Yeah, it's like you're just going to get easier <laughs> pokes to work with. Yeah, you do. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to show them a whole new side of uh, <laughs> Sunset. I'm still getting my ass kicked. <laughs> you missed! How do you miss? Luxio! <laughs> Steer, guys. I'm. I've lost Go three in. minutes to my PB like segment, <laughs> and I've only just beaten Stuart. Oh, so good, man. I'm scared for a sunset now. <laughs> Does it give me normal pokes here? Or is it just gonna give me a whole batch of new ones? Okay. It's giving new stuff, I think. Kind of. It's, it's, yeah, it is kind of. Yeah, kind of new. That's mostly the same. Yeah. I just don't have Dragon Air this time. Damn, that killed. Wow. Okay. Maybe I have plus special attack. <laughs> plus special attack, Monferno. Let's go. Oh, I should have run Combuskin instead of Shellgon, actually. Unless they're going to give Shellgon Dragon Rage on the the bad player setups. No, they do not. Just get good. All right, man. Sorry. Working on it right now. Oh, okay. Turns the Wii off, turns it back on. I got you. Yeah, just let me set up my RNG manip real quick. <laughs> Takes out SD card, puts another one in. See, look, Sasha. Look at Sasha. Wow. What the heck? I'll just put in my USB loader. Sasha is a different. What? Whoa. No way. You had Dragon Rage all this time, I'd have killed you a lot quicker if I knew you had that. This is the funny part, is that I literally don't know what anything has anymore. Because it's just completely rat new to me. Yeah, that's a, that's definitely a, 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 a vibe I don't, I'm not sure about. I don't know the route for losing too much. I do know it a little bit, but not a lot. We don't know the bad gamer, right, guys? Sorry. I know a little bit. I have done it. I've done it before for sure, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, it sped me. What? That sucks. I didn't think it would have speed me. I have to be minus speed, Mom, for now. It sucks. No, what's... burn! Thank you for having a lumberry. Oh my god. What's plus special attack minus speed? 
I have jolly? no is idea. <laughs> is that jolly? I don't remember what it is. But that's what my mom for noted. Is. Needle just took an L. Um, no, I, I'm I'm still ahead by a couple. But like, actually, no, it, it's one battle now because RDA is in Sasha. It's okay. very yeah. realistic that um, RDA will overtake me in Sunset. Obviously, we should go alone for now. Your thing is quiet, by the way. My my what? That that's the the nature. Oh, quiet. Uh, oh. Yeah. Thank you. I was like, uh, am I bought my audio? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what my mom Ferno is. <laughs> Thanks, Ranger. Please stop smashing Dragon Rage. <laughs> Poison. All right, Licky Tongue. That's insane. That's that's epic, Ranger. Goals. Go for poison. Thank you. Let's go. Ranger, I am not even 23 years old. You've been playing Pokemon for longer than I have even been alive. <laughs> I'm 20... Oh, I'm turning 27 in October. <laughs> A little oldage as well. Alright, Sasha is done. Not, ter not terrible. Not the best, but not the worst. Okay, so... <laughs> Sunset, as we can see, is very difficult, very uh, pivotal to the to the game, to the speedrun. Um, but it's also very different on the Japanese version, at least comparatively to all the other Coliseum's um, differences. Because mostly we've just seen, like, model differences, you know, uh, uh, text, whatever, loading. But in Sunset on Japanese version, the Pokemon are just different. The movesets are different. Some of the Pokemon are different. The AI is different. It's different. <laughs> so, oh, hello. Thank you. It's pretty similar. The, 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 the teams are relatively the same, but it's still different. So we'll see how this goes. Is it any Ooh. easier? <laughs> no, I would say it's harder. Oh, stunning. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to bring Graveler. I got Staravia, which is cool. That's not common. I don't think you were getting Staravia either, right? I didn't get Staravia. I got Staravia in the second one, still lost. Oh, damn. Oh, I'm not 22. I'm 21. And only recently turned 21. Oh, I'm so... I'm so finished. I'm gonna lose this one, too. Shellgon is kicking my ass, dude. Because for some reason, I assumed Licky Tongue would have at least one good damaging move? Ooh, they used Taunt. That's unfortunate. I'll have a... So, um... What? Okay. Oh, no, I never mind. It, oh, what? Uh, okay. Uh, this then. This. So, weird thing about... So, so the movesets of the Rotom and Bulpix 
specifically, just because I use them use them the most at the beginning of the of sunset. Um, they're different. Bolt Picks has ex extra sensory, I think, what it's called, um, and it has. Uh, I think it has dig and confuse ray, confuse um, a confuse ray, and flamethrower. Rotom has no other attacking move other than ominous wind. I oh. lost. <laughs> no. Oh my god! I got flinched like three times and just lost. No. Uh, I got flinched. And took an L. But I haven't lost the full thing yet. I guess I'll just do this again. And... So that battle is actually about 10 times harder with the bad pokes. Grace is normally very easy. My battle's not going too hot, but... <laughs> The bull picks cool. is just RDA like is not ahead. <laughs> well, you, you got you took the whole. You had to go all the way back. Yeah, I had to go the whole oh, way back. Sh oh shoot, dude. Yeah, this is this is such a crazy coliseum. And I'm not even sure if I'm gonna win the battle. We'll see. It's so it's going okay. I think I will, but it's a little rough. <laughs> Yeah, he still has two Pokemon left. I don't have... I don't know. <laughs> um... I think I want to do this. And I want to swap out. See if I, I get stomp flinched into oblivion again. I've just been flinched like 16 million times. Don't you dare start doing this again. You are joking! <laughs> oh my god. I'm doing this just for the intimidation. Uh, sorry if we couldn't do anything else otherwise. I, I assumed I'd die after that. But I don't know what either of these ones are. <laughs> I think one's double team. I don't know what the other one is. Um. Polish, okay. That sucks. <laughs> okay, did a good amount of damage. Good. Thank you. <laughs> what is this? What is the Rotom? Yeah. 
finally killed one of Stuart's Pokemon. I don't know what this is. Greet maybe. Alright, we'll try keeping them confused, I suppose. That's all I, my Rotom can do now. Oh! Okay. No, dude. They haven't even hit my Rotom yet. They just started hitting him. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay. We'll just try killing him. Oh, no, dude. They got me good. Oh, they got me so good. He used Encore, and I don't even know what the move is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this, is, this is going amazingly. <laughs> How long does it last? I don't even know. Encore? Yeah. Is it not between like three and five turns? Okay. I actually don't know. I'm not sure, but I'll just hope that they keep hitting themselves. <laughs> yes, keep hitting yourselves. <laughs> No, what not Corsola. Uh, uproar? That's up. It's uproar. What? <laughs> uh, what? I've never been able to stay alive long enough to do even use that. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's the chance. <laughs> oh, now it's using protect. Good. My opponent uh, managed to use Citrus Berry. I still don't even know how I can. Okay, well, my opponent is dead, so I need to figure something to kill Corsola. What is this move that I'm using? It double protected. I need to figure out something to kill Corsola. Because Machop's dead. This would have been so easy if Machop didn't get crit. Okay, that's fine. That Encore saves time. But... I'm... <laughs> I'm missing, but I'm going to have to poison gas and stall out. <laughs> to kill Corsola. That's what I've resorted to. Dude, if, whoa, if they're both encored, I only have to hit fight once. What the heck? What? That's insane, I didn't know that. Infuse, please, something. I need something to happen that's good for me right now. <laughs> I'm still in the Grumbler encore, dude. Come on. I'm not in the encore anymore. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Why? <laughs> I beat Stuart, dude. Oh, I wish I could say the same. I oh, know I closed my split for my strength. Nope. You? Oh my god! <laughs> no perfect point. Maybe we can get one here.
be triple protected! Oh my god. Dude, Corsa looks busted. Whoa, weird lead, okay. Thank God you didn't get four in a row. I'd have been so bewildered, dude. Okay, it, I it, finally it go got forward? poison gas off. So if I can stall for long enough, I win. But he went for it? Yeah, he went for four in a row. <laughs> That's insane. Right, confuse That's something. <laughs> I need you to die. <laughs> Doesn't matter where we select here. So goodbye is faster right here. So it depends. Like it, any, it oh. depends on the run. Goodbye can be faster sometimes, and Dragonair can be faster other times. This that was the, the cheat. So <laughs> After all this chaos, you know that there's all this chaos. There are strats and like like things that we go for for each fight. Stuart, you go for Rotom Volpix, and you hope for a good like Omni Boost type deal. Um, what? What just happened? How did you kill me? What? That shell gun just killed me. What the hell? <laughs> uh, okay. Also, the Dragonair mo model is insanely weird in this version. No! No! Oh, God! I don't know what those moves are. Uh, I think one's head bubble. I don't know what the other one Dunky, is. no! <laughs> oh, it's Dunky. I need you to survive one more turn. <laughs> that might have made me win. <laughs> oh, please uh, don't tell me I take seven damage from the sandstorm. Whatever please. this shell got. Whatever the Shogun has is crazy. It has a 120 power move. I don't know what that move is. Oh my god, I won! <laughs> That's not what the move it usually has is. <laughs> they outsped me. It's going for the flinge. All right, guys, battle two. <laughs> what what move is this? Is this double edge or something? It could be double edge. It it doesn't usually have this move, so that's pretty interesting. <laughs> See, we're learning things every time. Okay. Give me Staravia Gibble Ponyta and Chimchar. Dude, what is this epic? Oh my gosh, dude. This this uh this Sheldon is like busted on Japanese version. What the heck? That was crazy. I didn't get a perfect point, unfortunately, but that was still a fast fight. <laughs> Alright, on to Tamara, which is what gave me the advantage at this point. Oh, dude, what was so even? I didn't get to Tamara. Oh, you didn't get to Tamara? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, I have Staravia. Hmm. Servia is a, is a uh, is, we'll see if I regret it. <laughs> it's an interesting pull there. You don't usually see that. I don't, that might be a Japanese exclusive thing. I'm not sure. Yes, RDA is one battle ahead of me. 
<laughs> but I have been in Sunset for 45 minutes. <laughs> so... Are they gonna dig too? Okay, I didn't dig. I have to outspeed it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I might, I, I should be able to win this. Let's go. It's a tight race now, dude. I will happily aerial a sweeping bell next turn. Storavia, dang it! Ah. Yeah, I, I'm still like I'm not done with Grace yet. But, um, I, I will win. Um, I'm still on my leads. I actually could get a perfect point out of this. That's insane. That's really important, honestly. Dust stocks, yes, dude. Oh, am I in flash? Oh my Is god, that? please give oh. please give please give please give <laughs> I'm gonna swap after this. Oh, I got a perfect point. Okay. Thank god. I think I can get a perfect point from this. I'm gonna swap after. I'm gonna swap Vulpix out after this. Alright, I'm 47 minutes in the sunset, and this is the furthest I've gotten. Battle 3 of 4. <laughs> All right, Tamara. Gibble, I want... Oh, I'm right, was decent enough to, okay. Dude, the, the crush that they give you is a Gibble that knows Dragon Rage in, like, every battle, so... <laughs> but it, if you lose Gibble, then you just basically lose full stop. There's, like, nothing you can do. So fine, I will be spamming Dragon Rage with Gibble, so take as much off of the little guy's special attack as you want. This would be a, kind of a waste of Dragon Rage, really, but... I got a perfect point from Tamara. Wow. They didn't bring 
they did not bring uh, Pe Pelipper. Oh, nice, dude. Which is very, very good luck. So hopefully Dusty doesn't go terribly. I'm halfway through tomorrow. I've killed two of four. <laughs> there are specific speed tiers in this fight. So, like, Graval is the fastest. Vigoroth is the next fastest. And then Gabite and Luxio have, like, a weird speed tie, but depending on, like, each run that you do. Sometimes it's, like, a complete speed tie. Most of the time, Gabite is faster. But sometimes Luxio can be faster. So... You have to kind of be wary of that. Um, Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Okay. Go to hit. This is a dragon rush, so sometimes you miss. I like nothing. Why do they like? I also get a perfect point off Tamara, but my Tamara is a little bit easier. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm assuming I don't get shafted, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. Come on, Gibble. Nice. What a guy, dude. Gibble is the GOAT right now. Okay, Dusty's like the same, <laughs> regardless, apparently. Oh, okay. Okay. Good. Good. Protect, interesting. Stunning. Okay, good. Kill the buskin. One more. Rioli, interesting, okay. Kill the freaking bear off. What the heck? <laughs> I paralyzed it. Okay, well. <laughs> paralyzed my bear off. Okay.
unnecessary crit. Thank you. Miss. Poison jab? What the heck? Real lose coming for blood. That's great. I think he's dead. Yep. GG. Holy crap. <laughs> On to Magma, very interesting Colosseum. Bro, goodbye is such a pain in the ass. So, for Magma, um, it's a waterfall bracket. So, there are a total of uh, five battles before you get to the the final boss um but you only have to win like three of them technically <laughs> so depending on how many points you have at the end of each battle which is depend on how many pokemon are alive at the end of each battle um you get more points um and depending on how everybody else does so it's it's rng on how well the other npcs do um uh but if they do bad you can like skip multiple battles in the ch in the in this tournament but you can automatically skip one because uh of just how many battles that you do you'll just have enough points for sure that you can at least skip one good crit needed it Also good crit. Also needed it. Guys, I'm out of sunset. <laughs> Let's go. Any guesses as to what my sunset time or my sunset segment is? I'm going to guess a good 50, 54. Not far off. 5740. Oh, wow. You know, it could have been worse. That's true, it could have been. <laughs> oh, I've never been so happy to see. Luminion, Blossom, Sneasel. Let's go look. All right, we got, I got I got a decent setup here. I know the failing Omega Chad. I was uh, I was four I was four minutes ahead of my PB going into sunset, and I'm thirty four minutes behind. <laughs> So we do the first two fights. And then we're going to skip the third fight um, just because we have enough points to. And then the team that we have to fight against is really uh, annoying. <laughs> so we'll just we just skip it. Kind of crazy I didn't get that range though. That's a range on Victory Victory Bell. It's a free kill here. This is like especially you instantly start saving time with Daisy's path once you get to Neon, honestly. But you really start to see a lot of that time save once you get to Magma. It's pretty wild. Imagine doing this with Prim Blood, man. I'm gonna swap.
Like, am I doing this right? <laughs> Haven't had to do this in a while. Venomoth is annoying. Not the stat boost. Better kill still. I don't think it's going to, though. <laughs> Dude, Gatic is tightening its focus. Yeah, all right, bro. Oh, I didn't kill. Oh, are you serious? Oh my goodness. Uh. Okay. Well, I probably won't be able to skip the second fight, but that's okay. Dang. Well, I, if I if I if they do bad, then I will be able to, but I just lost the Pokémon, so I lost the point. Stupid, man. They didn't even hit that time. What the heck are you doing? Dang. I'm thinking I'm gonna need to switch right now because my Sneasel is very nearly dead against Krista. Oh, goodbye. But the, only, guy, the only reason you'd have to fight Robert, which is this next fight, is if he has, if if I have less of less than a two point lead from him specifically, which I'm fine. So there is someone that has three points, but it's not Robert, so it doesn't matter. This because this only matters towards Robert because I'm fighting him. I can't make the other person lose points. Robert has no team. points. <laughs> in my... Okay. So Robert has him. zero after two fights. That's amazing. Nice. <laughs> And we move on to Norman. Um, my dog is in my living room, probably sitting on the back of the sofa, staring out the window, because that's normally where he is during the day. I have good attacks, so it might not matter, but still not great. Downing crit. Okay, swap anyway, so it's fine. Kalava. We're on the same fight and everything. Look her up. Yeah, Norman <laughs> poke too. Yep. Oh wow, we're like actually neck and neck now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're, you got a little ahead because of that crit. Uh, I've just... Well, I, I've had one turn against Poke 2. I haven't done any damage though because I had to switch. Same. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. You just got Quilava and I got Charmeleon. You got the other fire type. Oh, I got Quilava too as well. Okay. That's good, RNG. Thank you, Norman. You lived! Quilava survived, bro. Oh my god. Correct. You might have a not great Luminion at that point, to be honest. Oh, he mi I missed, though. Wow. Okay. One double team, you can't hit him with some water, dude. What? The, not to mention it's a giant tsunami of water. Filling <laughs> wet. And so this went well, so we'll see how many points we have here. Might, still might be able to, but I'll be tight. 
as long as I have a three point lead over everybody else. So even if anybody else gets three points, if I if they tie with me, I can still do it. Eight. Oh, yeah, I definitely can. Let's go, dude. I got the skip. Nice. So I even don't even think it's that... possible for me to not get it right now because the highest anyone had before this battle was three. So. Oh yeah, you're you're fine. So yeah, even though that even if that person that has five points does perfect and gets three points, they all have eight. I'll have eight, and it's that's a tie, and I move on to Terrell. Yeah, okay, the highest anyone has right now is six, so even if they win... They were kind of correct. <laughs> yeah, so I, even, if they, even if they could get all three, nine and nine, same kind of scenario. And they didn't get eight, so we're good. All right. Here we go, Terrell. So we both got a really fast magma. That was really cool. Yeah. Terrell can troll a little bit, but, um, you know, we have Luminion. We hope that they don't bring the other non-fire types, but they typically do. Oh. Oh, wow. I actually tied at nine. Wow. That person was doing so good. They yeah, were cooking. I've never seen any. The thing the highest I'd seen before that was seven. I've, Even I've, seven I've is quite impressive people, for the AI. I, I've literally had people get thirteen. I'm not kidding you. Wow. I have definitely had it. So. It's pretty. It's pretty rough. Because <laughs> at that point you you can't do anything about it because you've already skipped a fight because you, in theory, shouldn't have to worry about that, but. It's definitely possible. Okay. No freeze on the first one. It's good. I can kill it. It's unfortunate. But it is a two hit, so. <laughs> I just you could kill it if you want. Wow, perfect Taro. Monferno, Charmeleon, and Kalava. Oh wow. Yeah. Never had that up. before. Good old surf session. Astonishingly, this doesn't gold. <laughs> Is my I had to swap on one of the other fights. Eleven twenty-five magma. Eleven twenty-one magma. Right. Missed anyway. All right, I got one for. I got two fire types, just to print up as well. And now we're on to the heart, the probably the uh, next hardest uh, dip, uh, Colosseum in terms of just like the length of the battles, the Pokemon that we have to, to fight against, our team uh, set up against the Pokemon that we have to fight against. It's all just kind of annoying. So there's also this fun thing called fog. <laughs> yeah, fog that can really sometimes useful. appear. We have the ability to change that, but it still takes time. You know, you wish you just don't have it either way. And I do have it. Yippee. But then you have to weigh up if it's actually worth getting rid of it or not. Because a lot of the time, sometimes not sometimes you're better off fighting through it yeah in low percent you definitely will take advantage of it in some battles especially uh the coliseum leader 
I got fog as well. Rotom's using double team in the fog. What an ass. I hit through fog. Oh, let's go. Are you getting rid of it or are you going to stick with it? I am. I am getting rid of it. I have Murkrow out. Murkrow control. So I'm just going to sunny day. See what happens. Marco didn't protect, which is good. It should kill, honestly, but I'm not sh sure if it kills in sun. Oof, almost. I've decided to get rid of it as well. <laughs> I missed like everything in one turn and I was like, nah, that's enough. And I miss anyway because kinda... the double team. Cool. It's not terrible to go for. You, you, get, you get power up on your fire punch, you know? Yeah. Blossom gets speed boost if you have Blossom. It's Beautifly is boosted. It's it's really not terrible, but it obviously wastes time. You want, you want to just not have to deal with that. <laughs> also, it gives your enemy perfect accuracy against you again. Yeah. It's one double team Sneasel. Oh my god, you're having a fucking laugh, dude. So this Coliseum also is a big, with a big like differ, um, difference between having Luxio and having Beautifly. Um, Luxio does help a bit in this Coliseum, but Beautifly also does a pretty good job at helping is helping there too. So, like you save some time with having. Um, ooh, who do I do? What do I do here? Hmm. You save time having Beautifly over Luxio in the end. I guess I'll do... No, I know what I do. Good. I just can't hit anybody, really. the attack boost. Thank you, Sneasel. Jesus. Uh, you're all still wrong. Clip Bob is still technically faster on Platinum Rourke Minute, but does not apply to Glitchless. Huh. 
He didn't die? How did he not die? What? I know I have to kill Murkrow with Art Sneasel. Fly. You ass, dude. I probably lose this too. <laughs> Unless Beautifly is about to just pull out like a massive W for my team. It's actually not true, Tahis. I actually used to use Pip Up, believe it or not. Okay. Finally beat Damien. GG. Are you on Daniela? Yeah. Are you? Yeah, I'm almost done with Daniela. Maintaining the one battle lead. Hopefully. <laughs> just pick beautifully. What? Danielle, that was a little slow, but <laughs> we got there. Uh, this will be below estimate as long as nothing catastrophic happens to both of us. Yeah, yeah. The big scary stuff is done for the most part. What a good crit, dude. Sunny Day Fire Punch crit on a Metang that was like plus one defense. So good. Bastiodon and Avalanche, name a more iconic duo.
the grass type move that I'm using is the grass knot. I'm not I'm pretty sure you guys know that, but yeah. The one shot on Graveler, it should be. And I'm pretty sure my special attack is good, so. Okay, that's me done with Daniela. Got I'm a good bit go. back there. My Daniela was pretty good. I got wiggly tough here and it's using Sing. Oh. Stunning, 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 stunning. Dang. Substitute. <laughs> Aww. Maybe the girls with the sun? Oh. This was my first no fog fight. Very nice. I had fog. I had fo I didn't have fog in the second fight, but it was a bad fight. So. <laughs> Staravia and yes, Graveler. Oh my God! Is this a two-turn Dominique? It might not be because my Monferno special attack sucks. <laughs> now you should be fine. It'll you should kill. Oh, crit star if you. I don't even think I needed it, but... God damn. Didn't kill. Yeah, cool. Wow, two-turn Dominique. I've never seen that before. Dude, I always get full-turn sleep. I always get it. Not double team B borrow, bruh. He's no Magneton. Look at Brianna. Jeez. That was really slow. I got Magneton, though. I'm on already near dead, so... 
With a speed deficit too. Oh, okay, I hit. Awesome, cool. I should win. Are you at Benny? No, I, I, I'm behind you. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've had a really bad Dominique and Daniela. I have just beaten Brianna. Benny is such a weird lineup of pokes, man. Just like a couple ghost types and a couple yeah. fire types, and yeah, he's weird. And he can go really fast if you're lucky. If he just brings in like. Do Charmeleon and Mag Cargo lead or something. Yeah. That is neither of those folks, but for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. I got Sableye and Haunter lead. <laughs> Kill either of them. Oh. Best Lumberry. Okay, at least kill Haunter here, dude. Ah, uh, I'd like you to do a decent amount to save life. That's okay, I guess. Fire type. Yes, Charmeleon. Oh, no, I didn't do it right. My brain. My brain, dude. My brain didn't work for a, the wrong time. <laughs> Golbat will die to Surf, unfortunately. I'll bring in Sneasel, I think. Oh wow, see if I died. Uh I'll bring in Sneasel just for speed. The loss will be a good last resort. Oh my cargo, cool. using counter there just because I'm guaranteed to kill everything that's on the field, so there's no point making Sneasel do a move animation. Who do you always lead with for Kruger? Um, I lead... I usually lead Golbat Sneasel, I think, but it, since it can be Golbat Luminion as well, if you want. Interesting, because I, I normally do Golbat Luminion. Yeah. So Golbat, I think Golbat Luminion is safer, and Golbat Sneasel is faster. And like, if you have like a weird lead, 
sometimes like limiting on lead can be bad, but. Wiggly tough sing. Here we go. Yeah, that was a really I'm having a, I'm not having a great courtyard, so on to Benny right now. I've just started Jackie. I'm not even gonna three hit. Stable, that's fine. Thankfully, um, the vile plume flung its miracle seed, <laughs> so a lot of my immediate threats kind of gone right now. Weird decision. <laughs> Mac Punch might three hit KO here. I think I need a good roll though. Yeah, dang, just barely missed it. Not Sneasel. Okay, cool. Ugh, damn, dude. Okay. Bullbat might die here, but. Wow. Whatever. That's a lot of damage. Okay, I'd really like Sneasel to wake up on this turn and just kill Valplume and I can move on. <laughs> you know, I'd like to get to the uh, second half of the battle instead of two tanks in front of me. Yeah. Ah, oh, Sneasel, come on, buddy. Sneasel, please wake up and just kick Raylou's ass. Aw, oh, dude. Valplum's not even dead, man. I think this is just another casual max sleep for Sneasel. Please hit Monferno. No. Hello, Pablo. My dog has come to visit. What's Jackie got last? <laughs> what a good death animation for Valvin, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, it's really good. On the Krigger. Good luck on Kruger. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Kruger's a really annoying fight for sure. Yep, right now I'm wishing I had 
led with Sneasel because he led Gavite and Gligar. <laughs> right, yeah, it's, it's really rough. Like, Gavite Gligar to do take a good amount of damage from uh, Surf, you know? So it's like, okay, but... No! I just crit Golbot! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I also killed a Golbat, but it wasn't mine. Okay, well, Gligar used Earthquake, so it'll kill Gabite for me, so that makes life a wee bit better, a wee bit better for me. <laughs> Him bringing Gligar is pretty sick. Victory Val. Yeah. Actually, no. Oh wow, good crit. Yeah, I can use Ooh, Lemonion. I got a crit. Lemonion will definitely kill Golbot here, so. Yeah, it's unfortunate to crit at turn one, but you know. Well, I had a good Jackie. Even though they brought Wigglypuff, I, I killed it in one turn with nice. the crit. Good luck on Kruger as well. <laughs> Thank you. I'm almost I'm about to finish Jackie. I have to kill this vile plume, but I'm about to, so. <laughs> that was a, a sub three minute Jackie. Nice, dude. Jackie was Jackie was my second worst fight. Damien was the Damien was the worst. Yeah, um, I, I, I saved a little time on you on that, but I just had every everything after Damien was terrible for me, so. I had a really bad Jackie. After that, everything else. Like, that was a really good Kruger. It's funny how opposite our runs are. I know. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, Kruger. What are we doing here? I'm going to do Golbat Luminion as well. Because I feel like it's safer. <laughs> I have about 25 minutes left, Ranger. RDA. Plus one fight, essentially. Yeah. As long as we don't suck. True. Or get <laughs> annihilated by Stargazer. Um, I think I want to do this. I hit the wrong freaking Pokemon. Ugh. I'm dumb. Well, it could have been a range, so I guess it's not a range anymore. No, so, I'm in the Stargazer Coliseum, which is the last Coliseum in the run. Um, you'll have seen everyone that I'm fighting in here before. Um, you'll see some familiar faces. Um, some battles are better, some battles are significantly worse. Um, mm. Taylor is first one, first Coliseum. It's actually slightly better. Um, not by a large amount, but... You've got ones like Rosie down the line that are just easy. Swallow it. Oh, I knew it wouldn't. <laughs> Hate to see it. Oh, you didn't go for a good. No. Oh, didn't go for a gold black. That's interesting. Ooh, bad crit. Bad crit. Not good crit. That's a bad crit. Okay. Well. Yeah, that's fine. Too. I wasn't surprised he. I was surprised he didn't do that. In first turn, but it did something else. That, that's so bad. Need you to get through Blossom. Cool. 
Okay. That would have been like nine in a row with me hitting myself in confusion. I'd have been raging. Dude. Both these Pokemon, I just had to touch them and they die. It's unfortunate. I don't know if I outspeed Swallow it. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, it didn't go for Sneasel though. That did a lot of damage. Oh, the loss of Levin. There's one Pokemon left. I was afraid of that one. Um... So we have Sash, so it doesn't kill us, luckily. Oh my god, and I use counter. What? What? Why did it miss? Uh, I might lose? Blossom should kill it. Oh, really good miss. Okay. That was in, that was a weird fight, but we beat him. This time, sucks losing the focus sash to Fury Swipes, but I don't think I'll need it on this battle. Whoever's last probably will die to Ice Punch plus Sludge Bomb or Energy Ball or whatever. Alright, I'm starting uh, Taylor. Nice. I have just beat Marina. Well, her Carcilla is currently on the process of dying. Feels so good to Oko a Carcilla after what happened in Sunset. <laughs> The fight I'm going into next is the rematch against Rosie, and it's honestly probably the easiest battle on the run. It's basically the exact same as your first fight against her, except you choose the fact that you definitely lead with Monferno Sneasel, and you just Black Punch, Ice Beam everything, or Ice Punch. Yeah. Delcati. Delcati is literally the only bad poke that um, she can bring. Okay, Delcati didn't do anything. Good, good. Quite angry Roselli, I guess. Oh, poison point, really.
Resident Point animation is so slow, man. Okay, skip <laughs> Going back to Fire Punch here, just to let Sneasel go first, because Sneasel's faster and still Oko is skippling. Had a pretty solid Taylor there. Alright, Volden round two. This one's still equally as awkward as the first time. Pretty much everything that was horrible about the first one is also horrible about this one. It's actually not bad. Got the Rotom range, which is really important. Carnivine will be a two hit KO, so. Never mind, it'll be a one hit KO with a crit. Wow. Okay, I'd like to see Onyx and Elekid. Ugh, Metang's not really on my list of stuff I wanted to see. Macho Gal, just double hit to get rid of. Oh, but, oh, I, sh I should use counter. Oh, okay, I didn't actually use Bullet Punch on Sneasel, which is bizarre. So weird. They usually yeah. do attack Sneasel with the physical move. That's why we all mostly use counter on those, on those instances. I'm gonna use it this turn. See if I can get around it this time. But... I used it right here, killed the Meryl. <clears throat> Very good, uh, Marina. Okay, use it on Sneasel this time. Go by again, really? So weird, dude. Uh, 228 Marina, dang. There we go, finally hit Sneasel. Okay, well, that'll be Metang down. Unless I get a mystery counter fail, which I have seen before. Despite the fact I got hit with a physical move. <laughs> go. Well, if I had done what it was supposed to do, that would have been a ridiculously good Volden, but... And I got trolled a little bit there. Well, it used fake out, so I was able to mock punch before it faked out me. Very nice. Oh, did you get Delcaddy as well? Yeah. It's very common to get Delcaddy. It's unfortunate, but and you can you can also get lucky, get like a crit or something. I think did you get a crit or something? Uh, nah. Oh, okay. Terrell, that is a horrible lineup. What the hell? Led with Grottle Sand Slash. Are you serious? Oh gosh, that is actually horrible. I thought you meant hit for him.
Dang, I always forget how cracked Sludge Bomb is as a move. <laughs> And Prinplop? Are you serious? This is the karma for getting three fire types the first time I fought him. <laughs> I actually don't know if Surf plus Energy Ball will kill Prinplop. I think it might live, to be honest. It'll be close. Because it heals, I think. Ice Beam Blossom... Crit. Okay, well, we'll never know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you take those in this house? Grimplop bide. Oh god. <laughs> With no energy ball to kill it too. Okay, I'll be sweet. Mm, maybe not actually, not with the citrus berry. I was kind of banking on it only having like an orange berry or something. Pretty solid bolt on lead. Let's see what he what he anchored then? Um, after you beat the final battle, Ranger, there's like a, some dialogue with Anna, and then it fades to black, and that's when time is. Nice. Okay, good crit. Ooh, I was a little bit worried there. <laughs> what? It didn't. Huh? <laughs> That's insane. What? It didn't go. Uh, Metang didn't go for Sneasel. I countered because I was expecting it to go for Sneasel, but it didn't. They both, both teamed of us up then. on Golbat. Yeah, wow, it, it, but my Golbat died. Golbat twice for me. I just got Golbat and Col Car uh, Carnivine that attacked like at the same time. I, I just couldn't counter anything wow they, they read me holy crap <laughs> they can see the code man that's not fair No rematch against Stuart. Thank God, man. I'd be uh, here for another 40 minutes. <laughs> sure. I'm very okay with no rematch against that guy. I have to go for this. Please kill. Oh, we didn't. Oh, what? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, he anchored Rotom, but I killed it. Holy crap. That was scary. Hold on, done. Oh, what a good crate on Luxio, dude. Really good, Dusty.
Why do I have this? Okay. On to the final battle. Against Mysterial, who is like the leader slash owner of Poketopia. Or like the president? I don't know what he would be. He's like the top guy. He's the guy. He well, is the like, guy. He's like the best. He's the grand champion, pretty much, is what he is. Wow, badly poisoned. Ooh. My surf sludge bomb killed Grottle. Get that friend pull up too. Correct, okay. Tace. I killed Sand Slash. These will probably die to poison after this, to be honest. Which I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> yeah, losing Sneeze on this battle is quite bad. Hoping for Chansey. Chansey Wish Cash right now would be perfect. Two Chansey. <laughs> Chansey Dragonair. Mm. Talk about this. Yeah. As long as I don't get frozen. Dragonair D dance, so I need this to die, or it's gonna sweep. <laughs> it's a Mysterial to spooky fight for sure. Yeah, if you let that Dragonair thing. set up at all, oh god, it. Oh, it got. Okay, I poisoned it. I'll be sweet. Never mind. It has a lumberry. Haha. <laughs> Pranked. Oh, okay. Cool. Got away with it! Chansey did survive, but... Oh my god, I maybe haven't gotten away with it. Hold on. <laughs> Still killed the girl of a while. Nice. The Intimidate was annoying, but... Surely I don't lose. Okay, yeah, go back. Thank you. That'll be GG's, assuming <laughs> the Minion does actually manage to kill with Surf. I know Jansy's very bulky, so... But surely it can do that much. Yeah, cool. Nice. That was a very woozy fight. I was, thought I was going to lose that. <laughs> Nice. 
And it's just after this dialogue this time. GG's. GG's. I knew you could do it. <laughs> and time. So this shouldn't be fine. It was a little sus here, but the intimidate kind of messed things up a bit. But Blossom's a tank, so this might even kill. And I'll be on to Mysterio. GG. Let's see what he brings here. Manifesting Dragonair Chansey lead for you. <laughs> I don't know why my notes aren't updated. I've been I've, I've updated them multiple times. Oh, interesting. You don't bring Lumini on for Mysterio. Yeah, I. That was kind of on a whim. My notes aren't all updated, so I just like selected whatever. But the speed for Beautifly would be good, though. In fairness, not terribly, but like, Wish Catch is always kind of rough to see. Oh, he has a yeah, I forgot he has a sash. Oh, he didn't go for Blossom, though. That's kind of weird. It tamed up on me, dude. Roof. I think as long as you don't see Kingler, really, is the main thing in this fight, because Kingler is just so difficult to kill. Right. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't he, okay, yeah, interesting. <laughs>
That's better. Okay, well, that's nice. Very nice. Kill, yeah. Okay. All right, that's it. Nice. Very nice. Okay, sub 420. Love to see it. <laughs> we got the goal. Thanks, Skoa, for doing the race with me, man. This has been awesome. You're most welcome, man. I hope we've persuaded more people to give PBR a go, man. Yeah, this is a this is a very fun game. We have lots of resources for um, how you you know niche the game is. Um, people are always around to ask questions. I'm always here. Hello. <laughs> Time is going to be at the same time as let's go as was when it fades out. You're welcome to ask me about stuff too, but I don't have the same and knowledge. time. Love to see it. GG's. Love to see it. GG's. Um, I think the, the podcast is up next, right? Yeah. Nice. So thanks again for all the views. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for chatting. Thanks again, Sko, for racing with me, uh, accepting the race. I was like, you know what? I, I would submit it, so I wanted to submit a PBR like JP, but I wanted to make it more fun. So I'm glad that you were you were willing to do the race with me. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see PBR get featured too. Yeah. So stick around for the podcast. Thanks, PSR, for having me. Have a yes, nice. thank you to PSRM. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the marathon. <laughs>